Welcome everyone to the Hearthstone set review that we do every single time that a new Hearthstone set comes up. Essentially what we are doing today is we're going to go through every single card that is spoiled thus far, which is all of them. Yep. We will be Because for them. once they for once they were smart and gave us actual days of when shit is coming out. Yeah, finally, where we don't have to scramble trying to wait for like all the fucking cards to come out. Like a few day or two before the set review. Set actually releases. We actually have like time to prepare, so thank you, Blizzard. You finally listened to us. Thank you very much. Off your asses and learned. If you're gonna listen to one thing, this is what we want. Mm -hmm. If you're if you're going to listen to one thing and one thing only, and you're not going to listen to feedback about the game itself, this. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we will be rating all these cards on a scale of uh, one to ten, um, and then a little bit of caveat this time. Um, we're going to give a second rank to some cards, which is just called a win more card. So things or, like win uh, more or like specifically for one deck and one deck only. Yeah. Um, the, the card examples of this are like the legendary card Darkness, something like that, or the uh, uh, Darkness Mimaron's is not head. win more. Darkness is only one more. Um, no, it isn't. Uh, no, it isn't. Darkness is, is literally one. a combo breaker card. That's all it was. There's never a win more card. Uh, Mimiron's head, I do believe, also. Yeah, Mim Mimiron's heads win more. Yeah, things like that. Uh, like cards I mean, that you he's know giving them. He's giving that ranking. I'm not. <laughs> I don't think there's any win more cards in this set. <laughs> eh. But win more that qualify under that category. Eh. But besides the point. With that uh, to said, let's get under the way, shall we? We will be starting this in uh, alphabetical order, so basically in the order of classes is essentially, so starting with Druid all the way down to Warrior. And the order then of we classes will go to in everything except the actual game itself. Yep. It sorts them when you're in the collection by this, but not under the class selection screen. Oh, just for me. No, when you're... When you're Warrior, uh, here, I'm actually, I actually have it open. Yeah, it's all good. Oh, Warrior, man. Shaman, Rogue, Paladin, Hunter, Druid, Warlock, Mage, Priest. That's not alphabetical. Oh, it's alphabetical for me. You have Druid up in the top left of your... Yeah. Huh, mine's not. Oh, interesting. Besides the point, we shall be getting underway right now, starting with Druid, and we will be starting also doing things in rarity order, so alphabetical rarity, so legendary, epic, rare. <sighs> if you want to follow us along, you can go to the Hearthbone website and... Specifically, this page. Thank you. There. I have it open. All right. First one uh, for the Druid Legendaries is a Flabidious <laughs> Floop. A four mana, three, four. While in your hand, this is a three, four copy of the last minion you played. Hey, look, it's another way for Combo Druid to do things. Yeah, I said, I think, I think this card's fine. It's fine. Standard, it's a combo card. Wild, it's actually just a value card. <laughs> Sounds about right. It, the combo ver the decks, versions of combo druid and wild don't need another faceless essentially yeah no this this card's even fine. if it costs one more because they'd rather just get the actual stat line yeah most yeah. of the time does this keep its mana cost or is it still yes so it's, it's a four mana three four even when it's a copy of something yep okay that's cool I like that I'm, I'm I'd give it a solid seven. Yeah, about a seven. Yeah, it's a perfectly fine balance. It's not broken. It's not overpowered. It's just a perfectly fine and balanced uh, Hearthstone card. It's it's Flubber and uh, the Hulk, by the way. Yes, that is. <laughs> That's great. All right. Yep. Next one. Oh, whoa, what the? Is there only one legendary for our Druid? No, Floop's Glorious Gloop. I do not have that. Give me well... one second here. <laughs> How do I not have that? Also, how do we not have a technical difficulty screen at this point? Ugh. Cat, I need you to move. Yeah, that's right, I don't have it. Alright, two seconds. We're prepared on time for once. We I have everything set up. I swear I got this. Jesus, Cat, stop <laughs> trying to fucking... Anivia, get off the keyboard. Essentially, yeah.
And yes, for anybody watching that plays League, yes, his cat's name is Anivia. Yes, his cat is named after a bird. It's because whenever she was a kitten, she would climb up onto my shoulder and perch there like a bird. Bite me. Oh, I know why. Wow, that is like no no size, whatever. Loop's glorious Did loop. We got we got the tiny card? Yeah, we got the tiny card. I got it from Hearthpone. Hearthpone only had one size. <laughs> yeah. Alright, there we go. Technical difficulties. Loop's glorious gloop. One mana, legendary area sorcery. Legendary spell, I guess. Sorcery. Wow, I've been playing so much magic. Whenever minion yeah. dies this turn, gain one mana crystal this turn only. It does Hi Token Druid! Yeah, it's like see he's playing Token Druid, uh in current standard is Aggro Druid Druid. still a thing with like Aggro Druid, no. Token Druid, yes. Okay. Oh yeah, because too many of the Jade stuff and buff stuff rotated, right? Yep. So yeah, I don't know in standard, I don't know if this card is gonna see a tremendous amount of play. Trance! Oh yeah, trance is a thing now. Trent matters is a thing. It's also the deck, one of the deck recipes, and it's in it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I almost there are, there are nine cards that make trance. That's actually not that bad. Actually, decent and... When I say nine, I mean there's nine total when you're using two of each copy. Ooh. There's four cards. Oh, okay. Uh... That's just well, five, because one's legendary. That should still be okay. Um, do Which you, you would have the dog landscaping? It's you sent it to me personally, and it, it's only got the druid bit in it. Yeah, I know. Somebody <laughs> can't get their work done, dude. Force of nature. Oh no, there's there's more. Uh, cause uh, living mana now. Uh, they're now specifically trance. Uh. Oh, I'm still putting the scores in. I'll put the names and everything afterwards. Yeah. Um, Living Mana now makes treats specifically. Yeah. So there's 11. Okay. Witchwood Apple, Landscaping, uh, Force of Nature, Living Mana, and Tending uh, Tending Torrent. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I, Scenarius. I, yeah. I think this card is fine. Um, I don't think it's anything too broken. I'm fine just giving it a straight five. It's just a fine card. It's not bad. It's just fine. Yeah, it's about a five. It's cool. And its spell effect has got to look cool, I bet. Oh, yeah, probably. Alrighty. Now we're on to the uh, epic cards now. We have Dream Petal Florist. A seven mana, four, four. At the end of your turn, reduce the cost of a random minion in your hand by seven. This card seems great. Am I great? It I mean, it seems... It, well, it... Mm. You're getting one of this. At best. You are getting one instance yeah. of this worst case scenario it's a seven mana four four that you get to change is to reduce the thing by seven hey how's it going uh, and, uh mike um, i does this would this go into a combo deck i this no. is like a combo deck card no would it be a value deck then nope this card does not see play mm. i i see the upside and i see the power level of this card However, I think I'm in the same boat as you, as I don't know where it goes. Taunt Druid doesn't want this. Combo Druid can't run this, because it, well, it costs seven, and... Yeah, there's too many. That deck's already, like, the deck is already pretty tight enough. It's it's too tight to run it in there. Two mana Malagos? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too, here. But but you have to also, you know, curate something. your hand. Yeah. And cut yeah. something. Yeah. And... I, I'm going to give this a six, because I think the power level of this card is there. I don't know where it goes. I mean, Dream Petal Florist coined Flabidinous Fluke. Yeah. Reduce something by 14. Yeah, exactly. Or reduce two things by seven. Yeah. Like, it's fine, but what deck wants to run this Fluke and coin? Yeah, yeah. It's or just like Innervate. Where... Like, where does it want to go? Yeah, I, I don't think it's going to see play, but it's powerful. Yeah, I, I feel like it's powerful enough. It'll go into a deck. I just, I am not good enough to <sighs> see feel, what deck feel, it wants to go in. I feel bad picking this in Arena. Wild, yeah. there's, Wild has something much better. Yeah, as Malinos. No, I'm sure Thor is on. Yeah, Thorison, this is not. Yeah. 
Someone's going to break this at some point. I agree, Doc. Yeah, somebody, somebody's going to break it, but... I don't know what. And I don't know what yeah. Deku wants to be. So am I ready to raise a six? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to give you a six. Okay. On to the next one. <sighs> Juicy Psych Melon. Ooh. Hi, hi, <laughs> hi. This is a wild card. This is not playable in standard as it currently stands. Four mana, draw a 7, 8, 9, and 10 cost minion from your deck. Like Briar said, he's really hyped about this for oh, for um, wild. For standard, I do not know if a combo deck currently exists that wants this. However, I... In, in standard, the combo deck that wants this can't effectively use it. Because it has two 9 drops. Yeah. In uh, wild, it draws Azelina, Togwaggle, Aviana, Kuhn. This card's great and wild. In standard, I could see it seeing play. However, I don't think it, it will be that busted in standard. However, I'm very much open to be wrong about that. I mean, in standard, what does it draw? Uh, Ta or Aviana, Togwaggle, Alex. Alexandria, there's Togwaggle, Death 8 mana, Wing? Um, Death Knight. Uh, it Lich doesn't King. draw Death Knight, it only draws minions. No, Lich King. So, uh, Azelina... Lich King, Alexstrasza, Deathwing? Yeah. Is there any other deck really then? I mean... I mean no? Mana? Yeah. Maybe okay. Mechathune if Druid runs a Mechathune deck? Maybe? Actually, it's pretty good at drawing its entire deck, so... Yeah. Maybe? Who knows? Anyway, for wild, this card is amazing. For standard, this card is pretty medium, I'm going to say. Either way, I'm giving it an 8. I mean, for wild, it only draws one combo. Yeah, exactly. Which is, I it's think... It's like, oh, it, it draws Aviana Kuhn and Azelina Togwaggle. Because it doesn't draw Malagos because it's drawing Aviana. Yeah. Or it draws Malagos, but not Aviana. Yeah. I'm giving this card an 8. Mm, seven and a half. Alright, moving it, on to the It's team. interesting, but they kind of just draw their deck anyway. Yeah. Anyway, so. Next one. On to the rares. Tending Torrin. A six mana, three, four. Choose one. Mulch Muncher? <laughs> Give your. Hmm? Mulch Did you forget Mulch Muncher? Probably. Mulch Muncher's next. The, the 10 mana, 8, 8, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there were some cards missing. Like, I'm, just, I'm, I'm gonna quickly recheck the list here. Mulch Muncher, everybody I know is like, why is this a mech? Why doesn't it care about mechs dying? It's like they want treants to matter, and sure, that's fine. Like, yes, it should have been mechs dying. That probably would have been too easy to do. Unless they made it like 14 mana, I think is where it would have to be if it was mechs. It is itself a mech. Druids do not have mech support in this set for whatever reason i think it's fine it's not good but it's fine if we're being honest i think it's i think even with the limited amount of treants you have this is capable of getting to like four i think you can reliably get this to like Five, somewhere between four and six, reliably. Got it. Alrighty. Me and my amazing technical difficulties. Yeah, it costs one, one less for each friendly Trent that died this game. This. Note, it has to die. Eh, I don't know what to give this, to be perfectly honest. Six, this is... Six? Average. Yeah, pretty yeah. average. All right, I'm I'm down giving it a six. Like you can reliably cast it for six. That that's not going to be hard in this deck. Nope. But do we want to play? Uh, if I get all the cards for it, I'm going to try it. But eh? Yeah. Eh? I'm on the like I'm not I'm not hyped for this. I already have scenarios. That's one legendary I don't have to craft for this deck. I have my living menace. I have my force of natures. Actually, no, I don't have force of nature, but I have everything else. I mean, here, let's look at the deck recipe. 
trees are friends. I don't have dendrologists. I don't have landscaping. I don't have whispering wood. I don't have force of nature. Tending yeah. torn or mulch muncher. I don't have the new shit and force of nature. Yeah, I'm fine giving this card a, like, just a... a Generic, six. nice six. Yeah, that's all it's gonna get. Alright, moving on to the next one. We got Tending Tauren. Six mana, three, four, or choose one. Give your other minions plus one, plus one, or summon two, two, two Trents. I mean, it's a seven, eight for six? Yeah, pretty much. And it seems fine. This card reads six mana, summon two, two, two Trents. Mm hmm. The amount of times you're ever gonna choose plus one, plus one is like. Never. Yeah. I'm kind of on the on the same thing here. Unless you have six things in play yeah. that can attack this turn. And that's lethal. Yeah. Tending Torrent is Eh, it's kind of Like it's either. mana cost uh six. <laughs> yeah. It's it's above average because it it does actually provide above average stat line. Yeah, just not itself. Yeah. Do 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 do. I'll just update the list now. Do do do. All right, moving on to the next card. It's going to be a gloop sprayer. Eight Dendrologist, which is a rare. Dendrologist, Jesus Christ, why? <laughs> Thought I had. Wait, what? <laughs> Dendrologist, yeah, it is. Wow. Holy shit, me. I vote for the next set review. You just take your pictures off of Hearth Pwn. No. Because then you can, you know, make sure they're all there because they're sorted for you. That's fine. That's fine. Or you make sure that you have all 135 cards. I did make sure I had all 135 hearts. Facebook said that there was 135 photos in here. Tokens. Yeah. Anyway. You can talk about this card. I'm going to quickly yeah, just make I, sure this. I... Yeah, sure. Just a... It's it's not your two drop it's not your turn to play but druid spells are generally powerful oh yeah especially when you're discovering them yeah i mean what's the literal worst thing you could just have to discover playing this on like turn four not too much <sighs> biology project innervate wild growth yep pretty much i do believe I think that's the literal worst you could get. I would take Biology Project, by the way, if it was playing this on turn four. Yeah. And then well. probably play another Dendrologist, hopefully. Or a three drop spell, because I'd have three mana left still. Yeah. Yeah, D Dendrologist is literally great if you have a tree in. Mm -hmm. And... Honestly, it's not that... Yeah, in, in Wild, there's a shit ton of cards that can be... God, you could draw... You could have Astral Communion in the pool. Here, let's look at Druid. Let's look at Druid spells. Yeah. Uh, you get... Savagery, you get Mark of the Wild. Although Mark of the Wild's not bad. Savagery, not great. You get Mark of Nature, Witching Hour with no beasts. Yeah. Astral Communion, Bite. Web Weave. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, all those, those just seem, like, fine. This card seems great. Yeah, I mean, well, those were all shit cards, to be fair. Yeah. Like, those were all bad discoveries late game. Yeah. But 
but yeah, no, it seems seems good. Like if you find that you can even reliably make, I think you would need like four treant creation spells. Yeah, something like that. Dendrologist is fine. And you don't need to run Mulch Muncher if you don't want to. Yeah. Hmm. I think I'd give this a seven. I'm fine giving this a seven as well. Yeah, it's it's on the more powerful side of discover effects. Mm -hmm. I agree. It's got a fairly heavy uh, cost associated with it, but I don't think it's insurmountable. Neither do I. I think it's just a fine card. Yep. Awesome. On to the next one. Finally, on to Gloop Slayer. It's rare. Yep. Do do. So an eight mana four four battle cry summon a copy of each uh, adjacent minion. This card it, seems meh. This is actually in the deck recipe for the updated Witchwood deck. Oh okay. Which is an astral uh, astral tiger druid. Hmm, makes sense. Token druid maybe. Maybe. Token druid gets some surprisingly big minions. Hmm. Yeah, I can see. Uh, I can see that, but at the same time, I feel like this card is, like, a bit too much. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. Mm hmm You get ten treants to die. Mm hmm You have two mulch munchers. Mm hmm Mulch muncher, mulch muncher, this between them. Get four eight eights with rush. Yeah. And a four four. Mm hmm For eight mana. Eh, seems okay. I feel like this card is a bit too high cost for what it does. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's high cost because it's common and abusable. Yeah. In the right deck, this could be very scary. Yeah. Oh, ew, somehow, man. Okay, wild, you get cost reductions down. Uh, Malagos, faceless of Malagos, this between the Malagoses. Malagis? Malagooses? Uh -huh. Malagis sounds correct. What is what is the plural of Malagos? I think it's Malagis. Or Malagosas. I think it's Malagis. Or Malagos. I think that one. Mal Malagai? <laughs> Mal Mal Malagus. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, Magical Christmas Land, there's very silly things you can do with this card, but it costs eight. Yeah. Inversely, I'm giving it a four. Giving it a what? It's not... I'm giving it four. It's not good enough to be, like... I mean, just be completely neutral on it. Yeah. But... Like, I don't think it's as good as it could be if it costs less. I know, I agree. Hell, its stat line only needed to be a 1-1. One, one. Yeah. If we're being really honest. It only needed to be a 1-1. One, one. For, like, five? Yeah. That might be too abusable, though, at five. Alright, I just checked everything. I have everything now. Okay, good. I don't know why. But apparently Facebook only had 150, uh, 133. <clears throat> There's missing two cards. There's still, uh, we're missing two cards. Good job, Facebook. You you had one job. That's, that's Blizzard's end, not mine. Yeah. Yep. We were just talking about how they were great because they released all the cards beforehand and they missed a few, two cards. Good no, job. no, no. They did release them. They just didn't put them on Facebook. <laughs> It's been a bunch of days before this, since the last day hey there. And those two cards were two of the first cards spoiled. Yeah, all right. Landscaping? Yep. <gasps> it puts them into play. It summons two two treants. The other one that we have that do not have this card either. Probably not. <laughs> I was just uh, seeing how I had it. What the heck is in here? I was looking at that card too. I was like, oh, do I not have this card either? What the hell? Yeah, landscaping um, summons two, three mana, two, two tree ends. Yeah, the, the Witchwood Apple also costs three. Puts them into your hand, but I believe it also makes three. Yeah, I do believe so. No, it costs two, but puts three into your hand. Yep. And they cost two. So, uh, token druid wants this. Treant druid wants this. I think that's it. 
I think that's about it. I don't think this card goes into too much else. I give it a solid six. Yep, I'm fine giving it's it a solid six also. going to see play, but it's not exciting. Yep, we don't agree with that. To be fair, it is a three mana four. Yeah. Which is better than the three mana three fours that we generally get. Yep, I'll agree with that also. Uh, biology project. Yep. One oh, mana. what are you giving? What are you giving? Landscaping. I give it a six as well. Okay. It's fine. Oh. Yeah, biology project. Hmm. But I'm giving my opponent two mana crystals. Yeah, but I get to use mine first. Yeah, pretty much. I probably don't actually get to use it to the fullest extent like my opponent would. But Duskfall and Aviana, this is not. Yeah, no, no doubt. Like this is good. A lot of times, combo dru combo druid's probably going to play this because it doesn't care if your opponent has mana. You just want to get to your mana cap so that you can play your game because your deck is like eighty percent seven plus. Yep. It's card draw and everything else is like six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 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 ten nine, nine, eight, seven. So you just want to hit your mana curve. This is fine. It's not bad. Uh, I'm not. I, I'm in the camp of like not really wanting to give my opponent too much advantage, but in the right deck, I think this card is fine. Oh, this only sees playing combo draw. Yeah, Nothing. That's I, yeah, that's what I figured. I feel like this doesn't get played in like maybe anything ta else. Maybe taunt druid because it just all its taunts are five plus, except for three of them. Yeah. And a lot of its cards are five plus. Taunt druid probably wants this as well. Yeah, I, I can see that. Six and a half? Yeah, I, I'm fine giving it a six. Yeah, six I'm a little more excited about this than the average, yes, this is going to see play card, because I play one of the decks that will probably play it. Yeah. Facebook annoys me. <laughs> That's why I use Hearthbone. Yeah, but I like the card. I like the back. I like the background. Background makes it look nice. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, that was all the cards for Druid, correct? Yep. Alrighty. That's all ten cards for Druid. Moving on to Hunter for the first Legendary here, we have Flark's Boomzooka. That Eight is the cutest woolly rhino on a rocket ever. Yep. Eight mana. Summon three minions from your deck. They attack enemy minions. They die. Death Rattle Hunters are already a thing. Now imagine you have a Necromaniac in play already, which we'll get to. Mm -hmm. And then you play this, and you pull Egg Egg Kathrena? Yeah, that seems fine. Your, your, Necromaniac, as we'll see in a bit, means you are getting four five fives and a random beast. Yeah, no. sounds about right. You no, know, uh, four five fives and two random beasts from your deck. This card's really good. This is deceptively good. People are like, oh, put it in my minions die. And it... so run death rattles. Yeah, no. Hell, like... if this pulls us if this pulls spider bomb, you get to kill two things with it. Yeah, no, this card seems fine. I'm okay. I'm happy with this card. But yeah. at the same time, eight mana does seem a little bit like a little too much. I mean I wonder what deck this goes in. This totally goes into Spell Hunter, right? <laughs> That's my only concern. This card seems like it's a little too high on the mana curve. I mean, Kethrena also costs eight. Oop. Kethrena Whisperwind. Oh, yeah, I guess. And she sees, sees play. Yeah, I guess. Yep, Remember, okay. Hunter's not really an aggro deck right now. It's control. Yeah. yeah it's, you, you there's, there's Spell Hunter and there's Recruit Hunter right now. Yeah. And I think Recruit Hunter just plays this. Oh, there's also Death Rattle Hunter, but yeah, that's basically yeah. Recruit Hunter anyway. Yeah. I, f I feel like this card is, like, fine. I don't think it's, like, anything like two out of the war world. Seven and a half? Yeah, I'm fine giving it a seven. It's not quite exciting enough for an eight. Yeah, it's... I, my first point, I think it's too high CMC in order to give it an eight. Yeah. All right. Next one is uh, Boom Master Flark. Seven mana five five battle cry summon four zero two goblin bombs. They're leopard gnomes. They're zero two leopard gnomes. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. I, did, I, did I put the bomb? Oh, I did put the bomb, bomb bomb. Yeah, I put this here, and I didn't put this behind a lot of others, because for just point of reference this card, this card goes on a lot of other cards. Yeah, it's also a card in the set. Yeah. Oh, God, it is. Yeah, it's confirmed as a card in the set. <laughs> it's not just a token. Jesus. All right. Yeah, death, and these are death Goblin rattle. Bomb Tribal! <laughs> Goblin Bomb Tribal! Goblin Bomb Tribal! Fell asleep? There's right. enough card. There's a. Good night, Cellular. There's enough Goblin Bomb creation cards that are either Hunter or Neutral that you can play Goblin Bomb Tribal. I don't think it'd be good. <laughs> I'm doing it if I get a Flark. That's reasonable. I don't blame you for doing it, but uh, I'm remember, not calling I also, it good. I also, I also play Wild, which means I can play D Trigger all your Death Rattles. And that's reasonable. And Necromaniac's a card. Yeah. Alright. Baron Rivendare's a card. Yeah. Imagine going, f like, having Baron Rivendare in play, Flark, uh, what is it, Feign Death? Mm-hmm. Something like that, yeah. The one that triggers all your Death Rattles. They trigger all twice. Yeah. That's 16 damage right there. Yeah, yeah, that, that's fair. Only requires one turn setup. Yeah. Uh, in terms of like, and that one turn setup is kind of hard to deal with because it's a one seven. Yeah, yeah. And I think you only need nine mana. Something like that, yeah. I can't remember what Fane Death costs. Neither do I. Goblin Bomb Tribal. Goblin Bomb Tribal. Other than Goblin Bomb, Goblin Bomb Tribal aside, I feel like this card is like. <laughs> It's in a weird spot in Hunter. I understand why it's in Hunter. Death Rattle Hunter. Death Rattle Hunter. Yeah, it wants to be like Death. It's fine. It, de it wants to be in like Death Rattle Hunt. They're also yeah. mechs. They are also mechs. Yes. And uh, and um, Hunter has mech synergies. Okay. Hunter is one of the mech synergy classes. All right. So if Mech Hunter is a like a thing and is like not terrible, I could see this card being being played. Otherwise, it, it just kind of seems a bit out of place to me. Witchwood Piper? Why did you mention Witchwood Piper, Doc? You can get bombs with it. Oh shit, you can get bombs! Whoa! I'm, if I get this card, I'm totally making Goblin from Tribal. <laughs> Alright, I'm giving this card a 6. I'm giving it an 8, because I'm excited about this card. That's... Much like this card is excited about itself. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm giving... Going ahead to the next one. There's I kept bomb. calling it Necromaniac. It's Necromechanic. Yep. It's Necromechanic. I did there, but okay. Uh, five mana, three, six. Your Death Rattle triggers twice. This goes into Death Rattle Hunter, Hunter. and I don't know if at five mana this is good. Egg Hunter, you have an egg in play. You play this. Don't you just want the four mana girl from Ungoro, though? The Which one? Uh, the, the Kami. Oh, the, um, um, Spirit Sanger Umbra? Yeah, Spirit Sanger Umbra. Don't you just want Kay. that over so this? So we're, we're going in, we're going into turn 10, and you have an egg in play. You're playing Hunter, and you're at turn 10. I'm already seeing something wrong here. Death Rattle Hunter routinely goes to turn 10. Okay. Recruit Hunter routinely goes to turn 10. Spell Hunter routinely goes to turn 10. Hi, Umbra, yeah. Literally every hunter meta hunter deck right now routinely gets to turn ten. Okay, I have not paid attention to too much of the meta, as you can tell. You have you have an egg in play. Mm -hmm. You're going into turn ten. Turn ten, necromechanic mm -hmm. cube on the egg. Okay. Five 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 five. Get an egg into your thing. Mm -hmm. When that when the cube triggers, you get four more eggs. Yeah, 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 I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> I see that magical Christmas land. Uh, so hell, just Kethrena. And yeah. This means you get three beasts total. Yeah. So worst case scenario, you have a five mana three six. Kind of seems a little bad. Best case scenario, uh, there's you also, get to do a bunch um, of shenanigans and uh, when you're ahead. There's also the the spider that reduces the cost of your death rattle minions. Oh, that's true. Yes. When you're behind, when you're at parity, I think this card breaks parodies. So, yeah, I I'm fine. Yeah, I I this card's perfectly serviceable. Yeah, it's, it fits it into a deck that wants it. Yeah. Actually, it fits into two decks that wants it. 
Yeah, I don't think it goes into too many. Hunter others. actually plays uh, Cube and uh, Kathrena. Yeah. Egg, egg Hunter wants this because it's silly. Yeah, 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 of course. I just explained this silly Egg Hunter bullshit. You can do with this. Yeah. Oh hell, there! Oh, there's some cool beasts that you can get uh, in with um, mm. Rexar to make silly things happen. Yeah. Yeah. Cor Corpse Widow's the other one. Those. I'm I'm good at giving this a seven. I feel like the yeah. power level is there. However, I am wary that it may also just like not see play in that same deck. It mm. might. I mean, in a second you'll. We're gonna come across some cards that'll make this much, much more okay. enticing. A uh, goblin prank, like this one. Give a friendly minion plus three plus three and rush. It dies at the end of turn. Okay, you're like going great... into you're going into turn six. You have necromaniac and an egg and play goblin prank. The egg kills something. Mhm. Mm oh yeah. If it lives, you get two five five still. Yeah. For two mana. It's a good removal spell. We haven't even gone through much of this set, but sir, but only with like two classes, you can. I can already tell that this set is very much in synergistic. Oh yeah, it's this, a synergy heavy set. Yeah, this is they, not. They they've moved towards synergy heavy sets, which I'm okay with. At the same time, yeah. I, I kind of like the sets where you just where they just like give us stuff and just say go nuts, figure shit out. By the time we finish Hunter, you're going to see my one complaint about Hunter this set. Mm -hmm. Uh, with the Death Rattle deck uh, and the Egg deck. Like, I feel like this card is fine and probably slots into those. It actually even probably goes into Re Hunter. Like, it worst is. case scenario, turn. It's recruit. It's called Recruit Hunter. It's the oh. Kethrena get your 7-7s seven and 8-8s eight with charge. Oh, okay. Kethrena, like, turn 10. I, again, this routinely happens. Turn 10 is completely normal for Hunter right now. Mm -hmm. Kethrena, Goblin Plank, Prank Kethrena, kill something kill something with whatever charge beast you got. Yeah. Get to get another charge beast at end of turn. Mm hmm Or just uh possibly the grizzly even. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This card seems fine. I'm, I'm it's down. really good removal. Yep. If you play this if you have a one one mana minion and turn two they play one of the, like the stupid overly costed two drops. Yeah yeah. Goblin prank kill it. Yeah, I like this card a lot because it helps out. Um, this card can also be pretty dead in your hand. You need a minion. Yeah. But again, it gives it rush, so if you have enough mana to play a minion and put Goblin Prank on. Yeah. I I'm, I'm good with giving this like a 6.5. Um, 7. Okay. 7. It gets the extra 0.5 because the art's amusing. <laughs> Alright. On to the rares. Spider bomb, spider, spider bomb, bomb. Mm -hmm. does whatever bombs can do. It's a spider and a bomb and a mech with magnetic. Look out! Here comes a spider bomb. Only does every class only get epics? Yep, they do. Okay. For some reason, I thought yep. there was always three epics. Two le two legendaries, two epics, three rares, three. Cards. Oh right, because it used to be one legendary. Now it's yep. two. That's why I'm like feeling kind of confused over here. <laughs> You're only, what, four sets behind on that? It's been a while. <laughs> Death Knight, Kobold, uh, Witchwood, this. Yeah, you're only three sets behind. Wait, what set? Wait, what did Kobolds and Catacombs have that wasn't... Weapons. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Death Knights, well, weapons. You, 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 can, you can't blame me for forgetting about weapons. A lot of them weren't that, aren't that good, except Death for... Death Knights, but... weapon. What was Witchwood's second legendary? I don't think they did. They didn't do a theme, yeah. Yeah. I think you can't fault me. I mean, they had two legendaries, but yeah. yeah. Um, Sp Spider Bomb. Uh, besides the point, Spider Bomb. Three, uh, three mana, two, two. Mech with magnetic. Death Rattle. Destroy a random enemy minion. You do not know what magnetic does. Essentially, if you have another mech beside it, you merge the two. It's not beside it. It's you. When you play this card, you can either play it as a minion or or as a spell targeting a friendly mech. If you use it as a spell, it gets its ability and stat line. So this card will give plus two, plus two, and death rattle destroy an enemy minion mm -hmm. to a mech. It does not just merge them if you play them side by side. No, that's how I read it, and I said, but thank you for clarifying that. It's, you can either play it onto a mech, 
or as a mech. Okay. This card is awesome, which is all classes, but awesome. Yeah, I also wish this card was uh, yeah. all classes. I think that'd be a bit too good. Yeah. Uh, I am totally down giving this card an 8. Uh, yeah, this is 8. This is... Fuck, Death Rattle Hunter probably plays this even with no meth me Are you mech kidding? synergies. Yeah, yeah the easily. Like, mid-range does as well. That's great. It's just a pretty good value card. Yep. It's also very cute. What did you give it? I gave it an 8. Yeah, I'm giving this an 8 as well. Okay. Oh, seems reasonable. It's also incredibly cute. Yep. Next card is Fireworks Tech. Tech. Which shouldn't be. It should be Cybernetic Chip or whatever. Mm, fireworks Tech. Alphabetical. <laughs> I mean, they... Whatever. <laughs> they don't... Two mana, two one, and uh, for minion battle cry, give a friendly mech plus one plus one. If it has death rattle, trigger it. This card seems great in death rattle. I wish it was the other way around. D yeah. Give a trigger a friendly death rattle. If it's a mech, get plus one plus one. Yeah. I wish this triggered death rattle and then had mech synergy, not mech synergy then trigger death rattle. There's only. No, the only mech that has a uh, hunter mech that has uh, death rattle is a spider bomb. Yes. So you're going off. Uh, there are triggering. neutral mechs that have death rattles. Uh, yeah, that's how I figured. So you're only triggering any, some neutral cards. Yeah. Which is fine. Or, or. The next card. Uh, fireworks. Sorry. That's seven, six. six. I'm giving it a six. 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 I, I don't I, think I don't this card is powerful enough to give it a seven, but it's definitely good no. enough to give it a it's like be higher than average card. Yeah, it's definitely good enough to. I'm going to see this across the board or on my board. Mm -hmm. Eh. Yeah. Cybernetic chip though. Yep. It's infest. Give a minions uh, death rattle. Add a random mech to your hand. Yeah, it's it's, it's infest, infest, but, but for, for mechs. mechs and not beasts. I'm giving this an 8. 7? No, yeah, it's actually I'm thinking. It's definitely 7. seven. Eight, 8 requires like this card to be like broken. This card isn't broken, it's just a good value card. But it requires 8 requires you to... this to reliably hit 5 minions. Yes. Which is not always going to happen. This card is definitely powerful, like how Infest was, but it's more this powerful. Does go cause... Into, this does go into Spell Hunter, which has a surprising amount of minions in it. I could see that, yeah. It also Probably grabs any mech, so it's not just, like, you know... Yeah. It can be mechs from other classes as well, so that You also... could get Mulch Muncher! <laughs> <laughs> that you can! I wouldn't be very happy, you but can you also, can. You could also get Mechathun. Oh, God. You could get a bunch of bad mechs. Yeah. There are a bunch of not good mechs. I can't wait for this card to be played in wild. You just get a bunch of, like, bad standard mechs and bad wild mechs. Oh god, there's even more bad wild mechs. There if you get Mimiron's head, head, you're just like, oh. It's a good thing I have Spell Hunter built in wild. Yeah. This card, I can't uh, wait. This card seems like pretty sweet. I'll, I'm gonna be happy to play this. Okay, card. no, no, I, eight, eight. You're eight. giving it an eight. I, I, I've, I've, I've come around on this. This is the eight. You can get some very silly things. Okay, I'm giving it a seven because there's a lot of like variance in this. Also, Wild Hunter has an aggro deck. Oh no, but definitely, yeah. I think that card is too much terror variance for me. Uh, bomb toss, deal two damage, and just summon a zero two goblin bomb. This card goblin seems fine. Goblin bomb tribal. Goblin bomb tribal. Also, this hits face. Yes. This card is fine. Goblin bomb tribal. Goblin bomb tribal. I'm giving eight, 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 because it's good as you play. It's another spell that deals damage. I, I, I was effect. giving going to give it a five because it's not broken. It doesn't change anything. It's just a good solid card. You're going to play it. Uh, now I'll nope. give it a six. I'm giving it an 8 because it pulls some cards out of Spell Hunter because there are some honestly god awful spells in Spell Hunter. I'll agree with that, but I don't think it, it deals, da it deals damage to the face. It summons a minion, which is two things that Spell Hunter wants to be able to do. That's fair. A lot of the Spell Hunters, like a lot of the Hunter spells that deal damage and then do something, only hit minions. A card has to do a lot more than just this and change a few things in order for me to give it an 8. I feel like this card is just a fine... I'm giving it an 8 because we're going to die to this. I, I agree. You are going to die. I, I agree. Someone is going to die to this, but it does still doesn't worry me giving it an 8. It's still like a good, solid card. Wait, where's my... 
But I, for me to but give it an eight, it, it has to be do something extremely good or extremely game warping or just be like like so much value that it's almost a nine. Eight for me is widespread play. You're going to see a lot of bomb toss in yeah, Hunter decks. Widespread, widespread for play for me is just a six. It's just widespread gonna... play is a, is an eight. Widespread play but not exciting. Like or like seize play but not exciting. Six seize play eh is a seven. And like sees play in more than one archetype. Sees play in more than one archetype, but is still kind of eh, is a seven. Sees play in a lot of archetypes and is like you're not upset to see to draw this card is an eight. Nine is nine and ten are the uh, broken stuff. Eight's like I'm, I'll go up to a seven. Pot, pot, I'm, not going, I'm not going up on, on, the, on the high end that you are on. I yeah, was, I I'm still to a seven. I'm not like super high on this like this is just a really good card that's going to see play in multiple archetypes multiple formats actually this is playing all three formats what am i kidding mm -hmm. uh it's great it's just it's an unexciting card that's really good also someone plays cybernetic chip and wild that was an error <laughs> no the fun part in or the sad part there is that you can't play cybernetic chip in mecha Jiraxis. Warlock. Yeah. So you can't get error, error. <laughs> Alrighty, on to the next card. Venomizer! Two mana, two, two mech, uh, and has magnetic and poisonous. This is a solid oh, look, card. Remember, this is what I wished the fucking spider was. Spider? From which wood? Uh, yeah. This card seems fine. If if the spider was a 1-1-4-2 one, one, with Poisonous and Rush, I wouldn't have given it a 1. Yeah, Pretty sure yeah. I gave it a 1. Yeah. Uh, this card is fine. I, I gave not... No, I gave the spider a 0. Yeah. This card is fine. It's not anything, like, over the top. It's not... It's a mech. It's a mech. It's a card. You're going to play it in the mech counter deck because it has synergies, and that's about it. I'm giving it a 6. Yeah, 6. It's a fine card. It's nothing. Do you know what we, do you know about. do you know what we haven't seen in Hunter yet? Hmm. A beast. Do you know what else we haven't seen? Anything with secrets? A secret. Secret plan. One mana a spell. Discover a secret. Disease plan. Spell hunter. And that's about it. Spell hunter. Recruit hunter. <laughs> any basically any hunter deck. Uh, it, this um, this shines most in spell hunter. Yes. I'm going to be like this is. Auto include two of spell hunter like ten out of ten. Yeah. If you're not playing secret plan, you're doing it wrong. Yeah. This is two spells for the price of two spells. Yes. For for the price of two spells, for the cost of only having one spell in your deck. Yeah. Uh, I'm not too sure if it goes into any other decks. It's lost into spell hunter. I'm not sure if it Ooh. goes into the recruit hunter. I feel like recruit hunter or is it like list is already pretty tight enough. Um. Now recruit recruit hunter has a lot of uh leeway. Okay. Death Rattle Hunter is super tight. Yeah. Either way, I'm giving this a solid six because it's a great and power, power and good card. It is not that exciting though. Eight. I play Spell Hunter in Wild. Shut up. That's reasonable. Eight. I'm you giving can... this an eight because holy shit, I get good. Sp I get the good secrets. Yeah, you get good secrets because you're playing in Wild. I'm thinking standard here. Yeah, sta standard. This is like four because it only goes in Spell Hunter. Yeah. Which is the easiest hunter deck to be. Yep. Uh, we're on to Mage, my favorite class. Mage, it's a Mage. We're going to starting off with L Luna's Pocket Galaxy. Mm. It's a seven meta spell. Change the cost of your minions in your deck to one. I'm giving this a nine. I don't know what deck this goes in. I'm giving this a four because I don't think it has a deck to go in. That's a better question. <laughs> I don't, first evaluation, I'm thinking, oh, this card seems great. And then second evaluation is, what the fuck does it go into? What it, okay, co combo mage. Okay, the only card you care about reducing the cost that much by is Antonitis. I mean, Kem, having your um, Sorcerer's Apprentice being zero, uh, being one, is also fine. But it's only a one mana reduction. And it has to be in your deck, remember? Yeah. Does Mech Mage Tempo want this? Wild Mech Mage? No. Standard Mech Mage? Maybe? Maybe? Yeah. Um. Tempo Mage, does Tempo Mage want this? I feel like this card is too no. high CMC for Tempo Mage. Uh, Tempo Mage just wants to kill you and kill you fast. 
Tempo Mage can reliably kill you before you even hit seven mana. Yeah, exactly. So I feel like this doesn't want to go in there. Hell, Tempo Mage can kill you before it gets to cast Aluneth. Yeah. I'm going to give this a six because its power level is there. I don't know where it goes into, though. Kind of same thing Four. that we have with that at. Okay. Four. But only because I've seen the... I'd, give, I'd rate it lower, but I've seen the spell effect. It's very pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think I people are going to build a deck around this. I just don't know what that deck is. Yeah, and maybe it goes into Minion Mage? Four. I'm giving this a four because I've seen the spell effect and it's very pretty. And I don't know what it goes in. Yeah, same. I'm going to be wrong on my evaluation of this card. Somebody's going to play it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Control Mage. Does this control... just goes in Control Mage. Does Control Mage want this? Yeah, Control Mage wants this. Elemental Mage probably wants this. Mm, Actually, yeah. Mm, Elemental know. Mage Elemental Mage has a lot of random card generation. It doesn't have a lot of card draw. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And this guy, too, could see play in, in Elemental Mage. In Control Mage. Okay, one, yeah. Yeah, Control Mage, guaranteed. One mana. Um, Alex oh, my out. God. No, no. One mana. I, I was. I mean, that's everybody's go to. One mana Baron Geddon. Mm, yeah. This. Jaina, Baron Geddon. Yep. You you have a you have a you, I'm so Jaina saying, I'm, plus Bar a one mana Baron Geddon. You suddenly have a ten mana Reno. I'm still giving still stick with this on a six. Or do you want to change your rating? I'm going up to a six. Okay. I feel like a six is perfectly fine. We've figured out the deck yeah. it wants to be in, which is going to be control and maybe the yeah, elemental. Maybe elemental, maybe mech. Alrighty. Stargazer Luna, a 3-mana 2-4 legendary good creature. After you play the rightmost card in your hand, draw a card. This card probably goes into Tempo Mage. Probably. It's also cute. Yes. It's cute because it's... 9 times out of 10, it's going to not do what you want it to do. The one time it does what, it, what you want it to do, you're going to draw like 8 cards off of this. This card is like one of those cards I feel like that is kind of like has the brand effect, how it has like pseudo taunt. Yeah, it. I mean, worst case scenario for Tempo Mage, this is what they kill instead of a mana worm. It, this might see play in control. No, control. What do you think control that means has you're, you're you're playing you're playing whatever you top deck. That's fair. I was thinking like maybe control wants it just because like it's card job, but yeah, I feel like control doesn't want that. No, like, Tempo Mage wants it because it routinely yeah. runs out of cards in hand. Yeah. So if you have this as a draw, yeah, I don't like, think... as, a, like, a top deck, you just wait for your next turn. You play this, then you play your other card, then you... Yeah. I, I don't okay. think this card is, like, overly, like, that powerful. I think this I'm oh. going to give us another, like, six again. Six and a half? Yeah. It's like... It's... Well, I'll just go solid six. I feel like it's it's a good card. It goes into, I believe, Temple Mage. It might not even, like, in the final list of Temple Mage, I'm not even sure if it'll stay in there, but... Yeah. It's I, good. Like, this it's... is going to get experimented with. Like, you're going to see it. It's going to do stuff. Yeah. It's it might get cut in, like, two weeks. Yeah. On to the next ones. We have Astromancer. High Control Mage. Seven mana five five minion battle cry. Summon a random minion with the cost equal to your hand size. Control mage. Guaranteed cannot summon ten drops. Yes. Uh, you combo this with Brand and Wild, and you get uh, two eight drops. Or two nine drops. Yeah, two seven. The two of whatever your hand size is. Yep, this goes into Control Mage. Um, I don't Control know. Control Mage go... loves this. I don't think Temple Mage doesn't really doesn't want this. Um, it Elemental is a Mage random, it is, is a random minion. Elemental Mage doesn't want this. No, Elemental Mage does not play this. Minion Mage probably not. Nope. Definitely not combo. I feel like this only goes into Control. Mm, combo might play this as just like a a tempo card. That's fair. Because you generally like Combo Mage, you generally do have a. Yeah. I feel like this I, I think I think this has to hit a six drop or better. Yes, I agree. It has. And in order for that, I feel like it has to be in a control shell. It's not going in tempo mage, we know that. Yeah. I, I'm okay just giving this a solid like six. Yeah, six is fine. On to the next one. Unexpected results. Summon two random two cost minions. Imp if you were like, 
basically everybody, you read that this next part as they are improved by spell damage, which you, uh, you assume summon two random two drop two cost minions. They have spell damage plus one. No. If you have one spell damage, this summons two three drops. If you have two, this summons two four drops. Oh no. no. Did you read it the other way? And were you still reading it the other way? Uh, no, I, I didn't know what the improved meant. I knew it was good, but I didn't know it increased the cost. Yeah. I've I, Okay, so I originally thought, oh, it put spell damage on them. Okay, that's cool. I then learned that it increases the cost. I'm there giving... was also a possibility that it increases the number of two drops. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking too. It's like, I didn't know what okay. the improved meant. I thought it was like, maybe it's just like, maybe you just get higher rarity two drops? What 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 higher rarity require is required to guarantee no doomsayer? <laughs> ah, wait, no. If you have spell damage plus ten, this summons two two cost minions. They cannot be doomsayer. Glorious, but no. The, the wor very worst. This summons you two two power minions. The two 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 cost minions. Yeah, that's the floor of this card. Tempo Mage probably actually plays this. Oh, you kidding? A hundred percent. Tempo Mage probably plays this. Control Mage probably plays this. Elemental Mage definitely plays this. I don't know if Control Mage plays this. Uh, Control Mage probably does again as a tempo card. That's fair. It might play just as a, a possibility of Tempo getting, Mage uh, has really shit early game. Tempo Mage does. Yeah. Uh. No, not Tempo Mage. Control Mage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Control Mage. Yeah, I can see that being played in Control. But tempo no, Mage yeah. is is only early game. Yep. Tempo Mage has no late game. Yeah, like, this is this is sweet. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm giving this a 10. 9. I think this card I mean, I'm, def I'm definitely getting two of these, and I'm definitely excited. Uh, I look forward to playing the Doomsayer Roulette. Yes. Um, I am giving this a 10 because I feel this card is amazingly broken and will definitely be one of the reasons why Tempo Mage climbs up the ladder a lot more. Um... I feel like it gives you a lot more advantage than people are even, like, still hyped up on the train about this. The card that makes you the first spell each turn cast twice, that is that is an element, or that is a shaman card, unfortunately. It just feels bad. There is, however, one of the rares in Mage. Mm hmm On to the next one. Meteorologist. Meteorologist. Six mana, three, three, four, minion. Already does not pass the vanilla test. Battle cry. No, for each card in your hand, deal one damage to a random enemy. I don't know where this goes. I think it goes in maybe it's control. Arena. Arena, arena. Arena. I'm giving it a four. Giving it a four? Okay. This is super not exciting. Yeah. It's a fine Goblin, card. Go Goblin Blast Mage, this is not. Yeah. This doesn't go into standard. No. Doesn't go into wild. No. Uh -oh. It's like, oh, control wants this. No, it's no. an arcane missiles for six on a three three body. That yeah. you need to have a hand. Yeah. This... It also doesn't have a relevant uh subtype. Yeah. If it had like, I don't any subtype, it might be there. Yeah. But no. Next one. Astral Rift. Add two random minions to your hand. I'm giving this a question mark, because that's what this rating is. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm giving this, like, a, I don't know, like a... Seven? seven? Yeah. The ceiling and the floor on this card is too high variance. Two... It, there are no cost. You could end up with two wisps. You, you could can. also end up with face collector and uh, electra. You could also end up with, like, a molten giant. Molten giant's not that bad. No. You could also end up with, like, Frost Giant. Yeah, you could end up with Frost Giant, which is unplayable unless you get another uh, random yeah. uh, card that has Overload. Yeah. Uh, you could end up with... The variance on this card is very high, but the uh, but the upside of this card is also very high. The question is, is in what deck are you playing this in? Do you... Tempo Mage! Probably. Because you actually just want more cards. Yeah. Uh, in the Tempo Mage deck, how, like... What, what is the worst thing you can get in Tempo Mage deck? I, I'm trying to think, actually... Doomsayer? No. Um, I'm trying to think, actually, in terms of just, like, mathematically, 
what ah. percentage of cards do you want out of a certain like area that are good versus what percentage are bad? I think Temple Mage plays this because what's the worst it can get? Liadri and uh, Doomsayer? A 7 mana 1 1 legendary paladin <laughs> card. <laughs> and a 0 7 clear the board neutral for 2. Yes. That's literally the worst thing Temple Mage can get, I think. Eh, I could probably get some worse cards. Oh, wait, no, no. Liadrin and Liadrin and Snow Fury Giant. There we go. It could it could also get Yip. Unless you have the secret that gives you armor. Yip does nothing. Or the elemental that gives you play spells. Yeah. Or Jaina. Yeah. Alright. Moving on to the next. I'm giving this an eight because it's fun. Okay. Like this is it's it's getting a high rating not because it's good but because it's fun. And as we all know, you play games for fun, not for like skill based re rewards. Yeah. Especially not Hearthstone. Yeah, some people you take know. this game way too seriously, man. Yeah. All right. There's that's... a pro scene. Yeah. It pays a lot more than Magic Scene does. Ooh, to, be, yeah, to be fair, it shots fire. <laughs> uh, and yeah, it's also better spectator yeah. sport. Uh, two mana, two, two one, elemental, celestial, emissary, battlecry. Your next spell this turn has spell damage plus two. So turn six, this unexpected results get two, uh, four drops. Yeah. Turn eight, celestial emissary, celestial emissary, unexpected result gets two six drops. Yep. This card goes into the Elemental Mage deck. This card also goes into the Temple Mage deck. This card goes into the Meme Mage deck. And... Fuck, five, fuck, five mana, this Cinder Storm. Yeah, that's what I'm just saying. This plus, like, Arcane Missiles. Well, At the very geez, worst. Tur turn three, you turn Arcane Missiles into a 2-1 plus Cinder Storm. Yeah! Turn Ten. Best card set. No, be best act actual best card in the mage. You're giving it a 10? Alright, yeah. I'll, yeah, I'm I'll, giving this a 10. Like, this is... I'll give it a 9. Really good. I'll give it a 9 this because is... it's also really good, but if you don't have a spell, this card does straight nothing. Actually, no, at worst, this card is just a 2-1-for-1 one one that does nothing. <laughs> Astral Rift. Babbling Book is dead. Long live Babbling Book. <laughs> In Wild, it can give you Babbling Books. Alright. On to the next one. Uh, Cosmic Anomaly, a 4 mana 4 3, the spell damage 2. Hi, uh, the. Elemental Mage, worst case discover option. Um, this is going to go into, uh, Control slash Combo Mage because it is the same card with better stats like that Kobold from, uh, Whispers of the Old Gods. Oh, yeah, because that actually saw play. Yeah. Eh? I'm very medium on this. Yeah, I'm, I'm also medium like, on this, but I'm I know where like this... I'm actually, straight up five on this, because it's... Yeah, no, I, I, I'm a straight with you. I'm a five, but I, I'm it a lot... It looks really cool, and I cannot wait to see a gold version of it. Exactly. Like, this card is fine. It's great. It has a place which is going to be in a <gasps> control shell, and it has better stats than that kobold that I forget the name of. Someone please correct oh, me on that. They have the gold version. On Hearthbound? Yeah, of course they do. Does it look yeah. pretty? Yeah... It looks really good. It looks really good. Mmm, that looks really nice. I like it. All right, and I do believe that is it for Mage, right? Am I correct? No, nope, there's two more, more two more comments. More, two more comments. I forgot. Fight me. Uh, I mean, I can't blame you. They're not that good. Research pride. But I'm giving my opponents cards. This card is going to have a lot more play in you Wild are... than it in Standard. Yeah, in Wild, so much more. In Standard, you're still milling them, and hey, guess what? Cold Light Oracle saw routine play in every mage deck. Because it drew you two cards. Yeah. Again. There, there were so matches where you effect... didn't there were matches it, where you did it, not play it. Yeah, there were matches where it was a bad idea to play it, like versus <laughs> Mill Rogue or Mill Druid. Or the mirror and... match. <laughs> The, yeah, the mirror match, because they get to spend more of their mana. Um, this card will see play. Like, yep. It's uh, perfectly serviceable. Hey, look, it's one mana less, and it's a spell. And I think it's a this cold light orb. is a, also a pro scene card. 
Oh yes, this is definitely going to be when you know what you're facing. Yeah, in the the I also want to clarify this. There are various cards in, in Hearthstone that see a lot more play and a lot better play in the pro scene than they do on ladder. For a good example, it would be Freeze's Mage, a not terrible card on the left deck archetype on the ladder, but performed a lot better in the pro scene because you're playing against a lot of top tier players and know what you're playing against. You know what you're playing against, and you get to ban one of their decks. Yes. So you can actually take out your worst matchup. Which is why Shutterwalk was saw a lot more play and saw a lot more success in the pro scene than it did on ladder, because ladder has actually a lot it more sees it it sees more play in it sees better play in ladder. Yeah. But I saw Shutterwalk is just shut oh Shutterwalk was just widespread across everything. But yeah. it sees better success in ladder because there are less things that shut it down. That's reasonable. But yeah, this card is definitely well, there uh, are less things reliably that shut it down. Yeah. This card is definitely a uh pro scene card. It is maybe uh sees a deck play in a deck or two in ladder. I don't think it'll Temple see Temple Mage probably wants this. I don't think Temple Mage wants this. You Temple Mage wants to kill you quickly and if the ability for you to draw your opponent to draw cards I think is too high because you just want to kill them quick and don't want them to draw their answers. I mean, what are their their answers are removal or taunts. Taunts, removal, healing armor. You unless they're gaining like ten armor. Well, you don't want to play this less. card against like warrior. You don't want to play this card against druid. You really don't want to play yeah. this card against hunter, which is already Mage's worst class matchup. I have a hundred percent win rage on Temple Mage versus Hunter. I do as well, but it's still a bad matchup just because. It's reasons. one of the best matchups. Yeah, but besides the point, I'm it's giving this a three. Five. You're giving me a five. Okay. I play wild. There, there's more uses for it in wild. I will hey, agree with look, that. We have mill, mill mage is now a thing. Yep. Duplicate cold light oracle. This. Yep. Shooting hey, star. Look, eight. Eight. Yeah. Shooting star. But, one mana. Deal one damage to a minion and the minions next to it. Um. This. There's is... a lot of aggro going around right now. Yeah. This card could see play. Celestial emissary into this is good. Yeah. That kills most things in aggro decks. Yeah. This card's fine in arena, this card's fine you in other decks. You need spell damage. You need spell damage yes. for this to be good. Yes, I agree. Otherwise, it's just bad. Like, actual worst-case scenario is this after a Thalmos. Yep. I think this card is fine. It's a five. fine... Yep, it's, it's a solid five. five. It's, it's... I like we both, like, are perfectly reasonable. Like, we know what ratings we're getting for Mage. Yeah. Can you tell what class I play the most? All right, on to the next one. We're on to Paladin. Uh, overall Paladin. roundup on... Oh, oh, oh. Before we go to Paladin, oh, oh, oh. overall uh, roundup on the classes so far, I feel like Mage, we kind of... There's no secret in Mage. There is no secret in Mage. There's technically no secret in Hunter. Yeah. Overall... There's no beast in Hunter. Yeah. Overall roundup on the three classes Wait. so far? Okay, of the three classes so far, interesting things to note. There's no Taunt and Druid. Mm hmm which is generally a mainstay for Druid. You always get, like, a taunt. Yeah. There's no beast in Hunter. Mm-hmm. There's no secret in Mage. Yeah. Three things that we usually get. Oh, yeah. Uh, overall, I think the classes we, so far, like, all of them are pretty streamlined. Like, Tempo, Mage. You definitely know what Mage wants to do. It wants to be Tempo, wants to be aggressive, it wants to do a lot of things. Wants to be Elemental, wants to be control. Yeah, it wants. To, and there's a lot of tempo. There's a lot of control and a small amount of combo, which is what we're used to. A hunter has a lot of linear things, going pushing it towards the direction of mech and death rattle. And a druid has a lot of um... treants matter. Yes. And combo enablers. Yes. Which is fine. Yep. All right. Kangor's endless army. Yeah, seven mana legendary spell. Resurrect three friendly mechs. They keep any magnetic upgrades. I don't know how good this will be. Okay, I don't think this is an aggro card. I don't think this is. A, I don't think this is a card where you have a specific. Like you just play all the mechs and you just get oh I whatever think... mechs I got I get. This is going to be like every fin can happen. Yeah, that's or, exactly that's what I was thinking. You're going to build your deck around this to explicitly get three very specific mechs that have certain upgrades that maybe have been upgraded or just three mechs that just go i win yeah that's how i see it. i see this card as in everything is is awesome yeah I, that's how i see this card and i think it's strictly worse than that yes i agree i also think it's strictly worse than that but i like it because it means that control paladin 
can now be a thing again. Which I, yeah, as it already annoying, could, uh, as it already could, but wasn't as great. I feel like this may push it in a good direction, which is nice. I because... still think it's worse than even and odd me or odd paladin. Yes, I agree with you there. Maybe it makes a new archetype for uh, odd. Odd max. Odd max. Maybe. Maybe. Either way, I, as much as annoying I think, as I think, it was, I think odd is too far into the many men's. That's fair. Um, to kind of finish up the thought, I was going. Um, I like this as much as I really disliked playing against Control Paladin. I really liked what the deck did, and I feel like if we have a chance to make what um, Control Paladin was, I feel like that would be really good for the game. Yeah, I think so as well, and I think it's fairer. Yes, I also than agree. Other control cards that Paladin has had previously. I also agree with that. All right. So otherwise, I'm giving this card a. I'm giving this a seven. I feel like this is a perfectly six? fine card. All right. I think it's a six. I think a six. Oh, okay. Oh, wrong thing I want to do. I always hit the wrong one. The seven's the thing I use to change scenes. All righty. On to the next one. Crystal Myth Kangor. Two mana, one two. Divine Shield, Life Steal. Your healing is doubled. This is not a turn two play. Nope. If the control palette deck that we are thinking of is a thing, maybe? This looks like a legendary that gets dusted to me. Uh, I do not know. Wild that. has a control palette in it. Does it care about its life gain? Yes, because it runs uh, forbidden. Yes. Okay. Which suddenly means that it can use forbidden healing after using some of its mana crystals effectively okay i do not know if this card like, is going to see as, as an example like that deck's uh reno used to be 10 mana forbidden healing heal 20 now you can probably play that for five which means you can play on at turn 10 you can play kangor a three drop and a forbidden healing and get the exact same effect of healing for 20. Because Forbidden Healing heals for twice mana it uses. And then this is double. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm less optimistic it's a, about it's this It's a control card. card. It, it's, a, it's a control card. Yeah, it looks like a control card. I do not know what control deck wants it, though. I mean, uh, Chillblade Champion, uh, um, four two weapon for four. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, um, other than that, I'm. Oh hell, hell! Uh, Death Knight weapon. That's fair. Yeah, I could see playing the Death Knight deck. Death Knight ha typically runs Chill Blade and the other weapon anyway. Yeah. And we're not talking like Death Knight as in trying to combo with the Death Knight. We're talking like you're running the Death Knight for value. I feel like this card is fine. I'm. I don't think it's like anything. I'm giving it a seven. I'm giving it a six. I, I think it's. I think it's exciting enough that it it'll. It'll do things. Yeah. But it's. Still kind of meh. Yeah. I'm giving it a six. It looks kind of meh to me. I don't know if it'll go into the control deck, but I'm willing to be proven wrong. Yeah. Glowstone technician. Six mana, three four. Doesn't pass the vanilla test, but let's see what the effect is. Battle cry. Give all minions in your hand plus two plus two. I thought we were done with this mechanic. It's a six drop. What minions are going to be in your hand I on turn we, six? I thought we were done with this mechanic. I didn't. Uh, two. Five. No, you're giving me a two. Jesus, that low? All right, I'll, I'll go that low with you. Even, even Paladin. What is... How... Even yeah. Paladin, how many cards does it typically have in hand? Not a lot. On turn six. I'll Incidentally, give... a lot of its cards are spells. I'll give it a two as well. This card, does, I don't think, is good. Not I as think... much as Odd Paladin, but... I, I don't like this card. I think this card is routinely, least, like... Routinely bad. Routinely bad and pretty unplayable. Arena? Yeah. Sure. Otherwise, no. Yeah. Prismatic Lens, a four mana spell. Draw a minion and a spell from your deck. Swap their costs. This is a control card. Yes. Because control, you could get a very expensive Doomsayer, which you don't really mind, 
because you can get a very cheap fucking lay on hands. You could also get the Cadgar's uh, effect. Very cheap. Oh, Cadgar's Endless Army for super cheap? Yeah. Well, I do believe we have some uh, cheap mechs out there, so if the deck... Technically, you could also end up getting, like... Imagine you get Kangor's Endless Army and um, Tyrion. Mm -hmm. Sweet! Kangor's Endless Army, I'm only playing once I fulfill the conditions. I'm not playing it on curve anyway. Yeah. Seven mana Tyrion? Sounds great! Yep. <laughs> like, that's a worst-case scenario where you get a one mana discount on one card. Yep. Uh, another worst case scenario would be like you get a really low minion, you know, or like two low minions or two high things, or like a low minion and the low spell. Yeah. yeah. But no, this this card seems fine. Uh, it'll see play in the control deck. I don't know if it'll see play in any other paladin deck. It might see play in even just because it draws two cards. That is reasonable. I could see that. I'm good with a seven. Seven, yeah. The effect looks nice too. I've, I've, I've seen it as well when they spoil The upside is there. Um, if the decklist we are thinking exists, then I think this card goes up in value. I honestly think even Paladin plays this. Okay. So four mana, draw two cards. Yep, I agree with that. On to the rares. Shrink Ray. Five mana. Spell. Set the attack and health of all minions to one. This sees playing if the control there's... deck. If the control deck we are thinking exists, which I think we've seen four cards, five cards now. Now, and I think five cards is enough to push a archetype. Yeah. My and son. there are more cards showing up that will also mean the control deck exists. Yeah. I'm perfectly fine giving this a seven. Six. Yep. I think it costs a little too much. I can agree with that. It is extra copies of equality. Yes. Now we just need extra copies of Consecrate. <laughs> yeah. Well, like just... Wait, no, we already did. We we because we had Equality Pyro and Equality Consecrate. Now we have Shrink Ray pyro. to even up the uh, Equality portion of it. Shrink yeah. Ray Pyro, Equality or Shrink Ray uh, Consecrate. We now have four. Yeah, this this seems fine. Hey, sometimes this is literally just play Shrink Ray. Oh look, your damage went to seven max. Yeah. We. I'm... I'm okay with this. Yeah. On to the next one. one. Noil module. Four mana, two, four magnetic, uh, uh, divine shield taunt. I know you, Tron. I didn't want you back. I did. This. I have golden. I have golden Noiotrons. Of course you do. I'm not surprised. <laughs> hello, hello. Um, this card seems great. Um, I do. If the me control mech. Paladin deck that we're thinking of exists. Oh, just mech, just mech paladin. Yeah, just mech paladin. Me mech paladin exists. That, that exists. Me no, mech paladin exists. All right. Don't, don't you lie. Wild mech paladin exists even more. All righty. I'm cool with this card. I think this card's great. I think this card is going to be pretty spicy and see so playing a lot of. I like this. Probably plays in, is played in even paladin just as a body. Yeah. I'm good, giving it a 6.5. It's a 4-mana guaranteed Divine Shield taunt. The 3-mana conditional Divine Shield taunt doesn't see much play in Constructed, but this is guaranteed Divine Shield and taunt. Yeah, I'm, I'm good, giving this a 6. This is a solid card that'll be put into a lot of Paladin decks. 7, 7, 7, 7. It's a 7. Awesome. On to the next one. Crystallology. Oh, Draw yeah. two one-attack minions from your deck. Two mana. I think this card is... Okay. Even Paladin just wants this because it has a random amount of... Oh my god, no, no, not even. Just straight up aggro Paladin. Just straight up, like, odd even combined. Like, just normal, no cost restriction aggro Paladin. Did, didn't we already have this card? Uh... No. We had an effect like it. It was, uh, like, one mana draw three, one attack, one cost minions from your deck, something like that something this gets this gets one attack minions is that any better than drawing three one cost minions yes because the one cost minions are uh relevant because you're getting righteous protector argent squire uh you can possibly get kangor you can get glowtron which we'll see in a minute um here give me a second to i, I was is... idle on hearthstone for too long this is really good this is probably like eight I was this, Agri Agri Paladin is a very scary thing. In the 
because it doesn't have to be odd or even, and it gets very good cards. Okay. I will go up to a 7 on this. I mean, I'm just going to pull up Paladin 1, uh, one attack minions. You're giving it an 8? Yeah, I'm giving it an 8. This is kind of ridiculous. Alright, on to the next one. Mechano Egg. A 5 mana, 0, 5 mech, death rattle, summon of 8, 8, <sighs> Robosaur. Here's it's a Robosaur. an egg. It's an egg. It's an egg. It's an egg. egg. It's a mech. It's a paladin. A uh, paladin card for some weird reason, and I don't know if I like this. Oh, Robosaur looks cool. Her, her, her blood is finisher. Hey, I can see it. I think this card is cool. I don't know if it's ease play. God damn it! I don't know the, I don't know the command to search for one attack. Neither do I. I want to give this card a three. Uh, yeah, three or four somewhere there. There we go. Figured it out. Um, uh, in wild, this can find Mean Street Marshal, Righteous Protector, Vilefin Inquisitor, Dry Gulch Jailer, Jailer, Gadget Zen, uh, Grime Street Outfitter, Primal Fin Champion. Bol both Bolivars and Linessa. Relevant neutrals. Argent Squire, Bloodsail Corsair, Cogmaster. Uh, Firefly, Leper Gnome, Light Warden, Murloc Tidecaller, Secret Keeper, Finley, Shifter Zeris, uh, Weasel Tunneler, Anoyotron, Blood Mage Thalmos, uh, Echoing Ooze, Haunted Creeper, Jeweled Scarab, yeah. Nether Spite Historian, Stubborn Gastropod, Micro Machine, Unstable Pool, Vicious Scale Hide, Life, uh, Volatile Elemental, Acolyte of Pain, Demolisher, Blubber Baron. There's a lot of cards. Uh, Drakari Enchanter, Imp Master, Moros, Pantry Spider. Their Tar Creeper. You done? No. Lotron is a one mana one three mech. It has magnetic. It's a card. It'll be. It'll have the annoyal module onto it. And I feel like this card is fine. It'll see play. I don't. Don't know exactly how good it is, but I think it's good enough. I am giving it a solid six because it's a fine card. And it'll see play in the mech paladin, and that's about it. Done. Yes. Thank you. I had one other card. Okay. What's Just literally what? had one page left. Uh, what, what's your opinion on Glotron? Crystology finds Glotron. Okay. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Glotron is actually really. Uh, I gave it a six. Drop, drop, yeah, drop a Noia module on it. Drop uh, plenty of other things. Put it on other things. Yeah. So one mana, uh, give a thing, plus one, plus three. Seems fine. Yep. I gave it a six. secret yet. No. What's your rating on Glotron? Six. Okay. Cute. Like, it's, it's visibly, like, cute. Yeah. It's a very cute looking card. Oh, Defense Matrix is a one meta secret! When it's one a your... secret! Woo! When one of your mains is attacked, give it Divine Shield. This card seems fine and great. And... This actually seems pretty broken. Yeah. This and, um, Get Down? Yeah. Versus Aggro? Yeah. This control deck, man. Yeah, I'm giving this seven, and I am going to be right back. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, while I'm waiting for Briars, nice to be back. Uh, I'll start off. Uh, so far, what we have seen in all the cards is that Druid looks like it's being kind of pushed into a comboy route. Uh, Hunter's looking like it's been pretty pushed into like a death rattle, that all sort of style. It's also got a pretty cool amount of cards for spell. It's also got a lot of cards for mech. Mage looks like it's pushed very much into like control and tempo. A um, little bit of a combo, but there's no like combo enablers, so it feels like mech. Is like mage is fine, and then the paladin deck looks like it's super pushed to be in control, as well as um, having a few small amount of cards that are good for mech. So I feel like paladin is sweet. Theory crafting can be uh, can happen soon. I'm so excited. Oh, oh, I know theory crafting. Oh, everyone's favorite time. Theory crafting. Derek's cloning gar gallery. Oh, it'll be so much fun. I, I agree. Going five classes and then have a break would have been better. But I had to take a break right then. Oh, okay. <sighs> I'm still sick from yesterday. Okay. 
You get to start on priest. Yep. Fantastic. Xerix Cloning Gallery. Nine mana for legendary spell. Summon a one-one copy of each minion in your deck. This is a card. It is it's a, a combo card. Yeah, it's a straight combo card. Combo How many? This. Well, I mean, your uh, um, Lyra. big priest, com big priest combos. Um, big priest combos to set up a resurrection. Specifically, a di a greater diamond spellstone. Yeah, I think this card is fine. <sighs> And I think that's the only deck that it goes in. I might give it a seven. It's mostly so that you can, yeah, seven. This card is cool. Um, it when will... it goes off, it's going off. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just super not playable because yeah. it costs nine. Yeah, pretty high up there. Ah, wait, I give this a nine out of ten. Really? No. Okay. N i e n. Okay. Nine, yeah, as nine. in don't. Yeah, as in, don't uh, don't do this. Uh, actually, translate to no, but yeah, close enough. Yes, <laughs> as in no, don't do this. Zerk, Master Cloner, six mana, five five, death rattle. If you've cast any spells on this minion, resummon it. Sweet, just put anything on this. You you only have to cast a spell. It doesn't have to be an enchantment spell. You can flash heal this. Mm-hmm. Power word replicate. Is this card good? This is a value engine card. I don't think there's a deck that truly wants it. Yeah. But I sounds... think we could end. I think we could end up getting like a weird, stupid like value resurrect, not like <laughs> big priest. Uh. You could put extra arms on this. Yeah, no, this this card seems fine. Yeah, I, it's super playable. I just don't know what <laughs> in. I know. That's one thing. It's like, what deck wants this? Is this card good in the deck that wants it? And how like how good is the deck that has this in it? Is like the questions I'm wondering, and I don't have the answers for because this card seems sweet. But when... <laughs> A five question marks out of ten. I'm going to be. A, I'm just going to give us a safe rating and just say on power level, like this card seems great. I'm just going to give us all Liter six. Literally five question marks out of ten, so a five out of ten. Okay. Because I have no idea how good this can. Po the upside to this seems amazing. The mm -hmm. downside is what the fuck plays it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Thinking here too. All right, on to the next one. Yeah. Power word replicate five mana spell. Choose a friendly minion. Summon a five five copy of it. This seems... Hi, Big Priest! Yep. I'm giving it an 8. 8? Yeah, this, this card seems perfectly fine on an 8. This card seems great. This card seems fine. This you, It will see play in the Big Priest deck. Combo Priest, Resurrect Priest. Yep. There's a lot of decks that want this card. Hell, worst case scenario is you're casting this on a Lyra. Also, as we're mentioning that, if you're playing the stupid Lyra combo thing, and you go, Lyra... Elemental, Radiant, Elemental, Radiant, Elemental. Cast this on another Radiant, Elemental, not the Lyra. You already will gain enough spells with one Lyra. And a three cost reduction. Yep. Seems good. That's that's the relevant part. Put it on the Radiant, Elemental, not the Lyra. Yep. An extra cost reduction is way more worth than an extra card. And then your win condition still just... La 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 la. I'm going to buff the health of the minion that can attack this turn infinitely and then just, yeah. Yep. Seems good. Yep. Next card is going to be a Reckless Experimenter, a 5 mana 4 6 a minion. A death Rattle. Uh, minions you play cost 3 less but die at the end of the turn. That was no, weird. No, that is. To no, no. Is that. Yes, because you phrased it weirdly. Death Rattle means you. Play oh cost shit, three power less, word but... replicate on KT. God damn it. On KT? Yeah. Who's KT? Just instantly get two Kel'Thuzads. Oh. Uh, okay, Reckless Experimenter. Death Rattle, minions you play cost three less, comma, but die at end of turn, period. Not Death Rattle, 
Cool. No, I thought I thought it was Minions. I thought it was that. Yeah, no, I had to. You and literally everybody else I've talked to this about this card. Yep. Death Note Minions. Uh, you play cost three less, but die at the end of turn. So Kangor costs three. Not when this minion dies, minions you play cost three less. No, no, no I corrected myself. Don't worry. Yeah. No, I'm I'm putting it out there for super clarity. This mm -hmm. is not a death rattle effect. This is a static effect. Oh, it is a static effect. Hmm. It's yes, it's, it's not a battle cry, and it's not a death rattle. It is a static effect. Is, mm. Personally, the way I would like this read, it should say, Minions with death rattle, you play cost three less. Mm -hmm. But die at end of turn. Yeah, end of turn. this card but seems fine. It's, it's because death rattle's at the start, and it's yeah, yeah, yeah. bolded. Yeah. yeah, no, this seems fine. Death rattle priest is probably a thing. Is it a thing? Is it a thing at the moment? I don't think it is. In the future, is it a thing? Possibly? Probably? I'm giving it a six. Six, yeah. So it seems fine at a six. It's not It might. Oh, wait, wait. This Kangor put something on Kangor. Um, Guarantee oh, no, that Kangor that card, dies. That card got, um, got rotated out. Damn. I was thinking of think... the two, uh, one mana two two death rattle. Mixtures I mean, of mixtures. We'll we'll come up. We'll come to a card in in this that is relevant. Yeah. Actually, two cards because I think Zarek Master Cloner makes a deck. Yeah, that's my thinking too. Extra arms, three mana. Give him in. Then you plus two plus two. Add more arms to your hand that gives plus two plus two. Here's more arms. I like how one of them's a uh, Chom and Guy for what he is. Look, what is exactly troll. Right? a troll, and the other one's an orc. Great. Yep. Um. The... See Zarek Master Cloner. Yeah, I, I'm five. Five. I think there's slowly forming a deck around Zarek Master Cloner, which is just infinite Zareks. Yeah, I can see it. Power would replicate on Zarek, Zarek's cloning gallery on with a Zarek in your deck still. Yep. There's a lot of one mana spells in your deck. Psychic Scream it. then becomes a lot better if then you're setting up for the cloning gallery. Psychic Scream puts them into your opponent's deck? Right. Unfortunate. In Tomb pulls them into your deck. Yeah. If your opponent casts a Psychic Scream, then you're all to the races. Yeah. Uh Omega Medic! I think every Omega card is playable. Three mana, three, four, minion, battle cry. If you have ten no, <laughs> mana crystals, restore ten health to your hero. Um, control? Control, because as soon as you go into end when you lose access to readily available. That's fair. I'm giving this a five. It's a fine card. It's a six. Okay. Because control priest is a thing. Mm -hmm. Test subject. One mana, zero, two. Death Rattle, return any spells you cast on this minion to your hand. Extra arms. Yeah. Power, word, shield, anything yeah. like that. Seric Master Cloner deck. Yeah. Does Priest now have Kaleidosaur deck? Does Priest now do Kaleidosaur? Everything except for the last Kaleidosaur. And, um, what's her name? Yeah. Is Priest just the new Kaleidosaur? Yeah, I think so. Right. I, it also just, you know, does it well because it runs a bunch of fucking shit. Yeah. Remember, it's also cast on it, so you could use it for flash heal. Yep. Um, I'm going to give this another five. Five? Any Anything to do with Zarek and the Zarek dot deck is a five right now. Yeah, because we are so clueless on this deck. I uh. think it's a deck that will exist. Wait, actually... Give me a second. Let me look at the deck recipes for Priest. Okay. Awesome One. augmentation. It's a deck. It's a deck recipe deck. Okay. Any good? Inner Fire... It's an Inner Fire Divine Spirit deck. Oh. Oh, shit! Actually, yeah, just straight up Inner Fire Divine Spirit decks want these cards. Yeah. Because then you can just yeah. use them as, like, card draw or yeah. Um, value. Oh shit, yeah. Okay. 
we have solved the problem. Yes. Yeah, still giving it a five. Yeah, because uh, we know what the deck Terror. wants, but the current Interfire uh, deck that we have at the moment is Dragons. Yeah. Is this better than Dragons? Uh, I don't know. I don't know about you, but I like my Dragons. Wait, Radiant Elemental, Lyra, Dragon Soul, Zarek, Test Subject, Extra Arms, Powered Replicate. Yeah. Yeah, I think we have a deck here that's just Inner Fire dot Lyra. Okay. And you have all these cards that just return spells to your hand. Mm -hmm. Giving you extra spell cast for your Lyra. Yeah, this seems fine. Yeah. Uh, we're on to Dead Ringer. Two Ringer. mana, two one mech. Death Rattle. You can draw a Death Rattle minion from your deck. You can reliably turn this into Draw Obsidian Statue. Yep. I'm just fine. I'm, I'm solid. Yeah, I'm this, 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 you can have two Dead Ringers. Uh-huh. And two obsidian statues yep. as your only death rattles. Yep. This seems great. Hey, look, we we made uh the uh, demonic lackey into um Void Lord. Void Terror. Oh, yeah. We did it. <laughs> Although it draws, it doesn't put it into play. Yeah. But priest doesn't strictly care about cheating the mana costs. Yep. Uh I am good giving this a solid 6. 7. Okay. There's a lot of Death Rattle cards in Wild that uh, oh. Priest incidentally plays, and just having an extra card effect is pretty good. Cloning Device. Two mana. Just... Spell. Discover a copy of a minion in your opponent's deck. Hi. Yes, please. Thank you. Do want to play. This is about as good as your opponent's deck. Yep. We had three choices at it. It seems fine. Doesn't seem yep. anything spicy, but it seems fine. I'm okay with this card. It's putting it into your hand. Yep. Six? Yeah, I'm fine giving it a six. Yeah, it, it's, it'll be interesting. It'll probably see play. You're going to see this get cast, yep. guaranteed. Yep. Because some, at some point, somebody's going to get it off Lyra, and it's going to cost zero, and they're going to be like, sweet cycling! Yay! Yep. And then they're going to mill a card, because it's going to add two cards to their hand. Yeah. I know, the card seems great. <laughs> Topsy-turvy. Zero mana spell. Swap a minion's attack and health. <gasps> High inner fire combo. I think that's about as only where this card goes. Requirement: you need one attack. Yeah. Also a good way to kill off eggs. Also a good way to kill doomsayer. Doomsayer, eggs, totems, test subjects. Yep. Your specifically your own test subjects. Yep. This card seems fine, uh, uh, but it doesn't seem very exciting. Six, because it has applications in relevant archetypes. I will give it a 5. I feel like it's oh fine, but I don't feel like it's going to be... Uh, uh, Void Lord... Or no. Void Ripper sees play. Crazed Alchemist sees play. Like, the Confuse <laughs> sees play in Wild for the exact same reason as the other things. Like, swapping the attack and health is very relevant. Like, it's... Mm -hmm. No, I agree it's relevant. I just don't think... Six, it's, it's just unexciting, but it yeah. is an extra copy, and it does cost zero. Yep. On to the next one? On to Shaman now? Like, I would rather play Topsy-Turvy than Crazed Alchemist. Yes, I would agree. Yep, Alrighty. on to Rogue. On to Rogue? Yeah, on to Rogue. Rogue, we are starting with Mira. Yeah. Myra. Myra? Actually. Yep. I'm, I pronounce that like a Japanese person. Myra Rotspring. Battle cry. It's a 5 mana 4 2 minion. Battle cry. Discover a death rattle minion. Also gain its death rattle. I cannot wait to find a new rack off of this. Yeah. Rogue. What does Rogue want for death rattle? A new rack? What's a new rack do again? The, eight, uh, the 9 mana 8 4. When this dies, return it to your hand. Summon a 4 4 Nerubian. Oh, yeah. So you get that, wild, and she now it? has... Yeah, it's wild. Okay, yeah. In standard, I don't know. What's... Death, uh, death rattle thing? You want the warlock card that gives you the oh, seals. Oh, Blight not... Uh, you would have to be a warlock playing this card. Oh, yeah, because it's discovered, discovered. Or have stolen... Gul'dan. Yes. Already. And played Gul'dan before playing this. 
Discovery or limits the cards you discover to your class, right? To, to your class. So you, uh... if you want to get Rin, you need to be a warlock, which is very doable with Hallucinate, Sp uh, Blink Fox, etc. What do you want in Rogue with this? In just... Rogue specifically, I think it, in Standard, it's like Blight Nozzle Crawler, which we'll get to, and yeah. like... It's because it's a minion. Uh, I mean, there's a bunch of neutral things as yeah, well. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to think of. What do you want? Uh, rotten Apple Bomb would be fine. Do you want the uh, plant? Format of plant legendary? No. I forgot what it's called. Sherizen. Yeah, Sherizen. No, I don't think you want... Well, you don't want Sherizen on Myra, but you want to discover a Sherizen. Yes. Actually, what happens if Myra has Sherizen? Good question. I don't know. I'm not a Hearthstone judge. I'm a magic judge. No, no, no. I, I mean, I know what happens. She goes dormant and comes back as herself. She doesn't get her battle cry. She's a 4-2 instead of a 5-3. Yeah. But what does it look like? Good question. I don't know. Huh. Yeah. Either this way, card I... is cool. This, yeah. this card is really cool. It's a sweet value engine. I feel like, like this card what? is sweet, and, and it's going to be a pretty cool card. I think I'm going to give it a solid 5. No, not for solid 5. A solid, like... 7? Seven? Seven? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be interesting when it when it gets played. Yes. Myra's Unstable Element. 5 meta legendary spell. Draw the rest of your deck. Oh, Sprint, this is not. Actually, this is about as analogous to Sprint as you can get. Do you want well, this in Miracle Rogue? No! I didn't think so. I don't think you want this, period. Nope. This is a bad card. Giving it a one. Literally, literally the only deck that probably wants this is a rogue version of uh, Mecha Thune, Because then it just empties your deck. But you need Mecha Thune already before you cast this. And a way to kill Mecha Thune. Yep. Doable. We'll probably see play. You will probably lose to this card, too. Okay. Not to this card specifically, but a deck using this card. Mm -hmm. I'm giving this a 1. I'm giving it a 2, just because there are applications for it, but it's really bad. Yeah. Really, uh, really bad. Onto the epics. Necurium Vile. 5 mana. Trigger. Friendly minions. Death, death rattle. Twice. Necrium. Necrium? Alright, whatever. Yep. Necrium. N-E-C-R. Necrium. Necrium. Necrium Vile. Trigger friendly death minions death rattle twice. Does not work with Mechathun. <laughs> what? No. Mechathun will still be in play when you trigger his death rattle. Yeah. Um. Seems fine. Like this either does something or does nothing. I mean, if you have a blight nozzle crawler in play on turn four, your opponent plays some scary shit on turn five. You go to turn five, Necrium file, get two one one uses with poisonous and rush, kill their scary things. Face of five. Five, yeah. It does not excite me. It's not it, super exciting. It doesn't. It's not exciting, and I don't. I don't see what deck wants to play it. I mean, death rattle hunter is a thing in one. Yeah, this is broke. It's a thing in wild, and this is silly in that deck. Yeah, in wild, I think this sees play, but but it's not even good. It's not even yeah. a good deck in wild. It's just a deck that does exist. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like <gasps> mm -hmm. big rogue wants this. Big rogue. Yeah, it's a it's a wild deck that is monsters behind you. Oh, yeah. and like the uh, recruiter thing that. Yeah. So recruits an 8-drop, and has KT, and um, Sneeds, and Monsters Behind You. Yeah, no, Big big Rogue probably plays this. I look forward to watching Dane use Necrium Vile. Nice. Alright. On to the next one. Academic Espionage. Academic. Academic Espionage. Academic! Academic, Academic, Potato Potato. Four mana spell. Shuffle ten cards from your opponent's class into your deck. They cost one. One mana gold and anyone? Yeah. Oh shit, what happens if you use that, like, like, 
You have like an empty hand. You draw. You have spiders. You have a spooder spawning in your deck. You have um, ten mana. This was like the a top deck on an empty hand. Uh, or you have this and sprint in hand. Sprint this sprint and prep. And you go uh, this prep sprint. Draw some spiders and some of these things. Next turn, it's like. Oh, look at all these demons I randomly have. Because my opponent's a demon, demon, demon. Get them killed off somehow. You can also... Yeah. Gul'dan. One mana Gul'dan. One mana any death knight. <laughs> this card seems fun. Um, One mana versions of zero cost This spells. card probably sees play in Wild Mill Rogue. Probably. Just cause Actually, it probably just sees play in Burgle Rogue. Yeah. This... Any Burgle... Tess Rogue. Yeah. Five, six? Seven? Just because there's so many interesting things you could do with this. Okay. I don't think it's a good card. I just think it's got a lot of interesting prospects. Uh, agreed. <laughs> you are going to die to academic espionage. Uh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> you go to fatigue this and unstable elements. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Well, yeah. Actually, in fatigue, this unstable element. Draw your ten cards. They all cost one. Next turn, play ten cards. Light nozzle. Light nozzle. <laughs> Light nozzle. Light nozzle. All right, nozzle nozzle. I could, I did not know that one. Light nozzle crawler. Light crawl nozzle crawler. Dude, these these cards are hard. Light to... nozzle crawler. Shut up. Four mana, two four mech. Death rattle. Summon a uh, one one poisonous. No, one one ooze with poisonous and rush. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not awake, if you could tell. It seems fine. Seems great. You can talk about this card. I'm going to grab myself a drink. Uh... There's nothing to Here's talk the about. The token is fucking adorable. That's that's what I can... I can talk about the token for, like, an hour. This is the cutest token ever. It's so cute! Do we have a gold version of the token yet? Oh, <gasps> it's so cute. I agree with everything that was stated. It's look at it. Look at the golden token. I the golden token. What? Yeah, I just linked it in chat. Ah, uh, it's cute. It's so cute. I'm Literally, gonna... all I talked about was the token, by the way. <laughs> and I agree with everything stated. Um, I think yeah. this card is like solid six. Six, yeah. It's unexciting, it's a, but it's, it's a good card. It's a good card. Yep. Unexciting good card. Necrium Blade is not a good card. A three mana uh, uh, weapon <clears throat> that is three attack and two tough to defend. Two durability? Durability? Yes. That's the correct terminology? Durability. durability. Yes. Death rattle. Trigger or the death rattle of a random friendly minion. What death rattles? There's so few. I still have Hearthstone open. Rogue, choose custom deck. I'm trying to make Rogue be like Death Rattle care. Care about Death Rattle. Last time they did this, Again? it wasn't that good. No, last time they did it, it was um, Raptor Rogue. And it was oppressive. Oh, yeah. No, Raptor Rogue was great. Uh, okay, so only of minions. Uh, Jade Swarmer. Oh, right, I'm in Wild. Uh, Undercity Huck. Oh wait, actually, just talking about it in wild. Jade Swarmer, Undercity Huckster, Raptor, uh, Cobalt Illusionist, Squid Face, Tomb Pillager, uh, Zeril. This game needs more Destiny characters. Anubarak. Oh, now my glow doesn't go on my uh, Twitch delay. Feels bad. Necrium Blade is not good. No, I'm giving it a four. Five because it has relevancy in Wild, but even then, it's not that good. Yeah, I don't think it's that good. All right, Pogo Hopper is a two mana one one mech battle cry. Gain plus two plus two for each other Pogo Hopper you've played this game. So Wild. Pogo Hopper, Lab Recruiter, Gang Up, uh, Bounce Effects, Quest. 
Standard. Quest is a ba- quest is a bad idea, by the way. Yeah. Uh, standard two. Wild. You do know standard has two pandas in it, right? What's pandas again? Uh, young brewmaster and the other brewmaster. Oh yeah. Shadow step. Shadow step. Shadow step. Broom. Both. Two copies of each brewmaster. Two copies of lab recruiter. I still don't think in it's wild, good enough. Wild gang up pogo hopper. It's a. It's the first time we've had a good, poor man's Edwin. the first time we've had a playable poor man's Edwin. I still don't think it's good enough. I think if you also have... You can... No, no, no. You can play Edwin.deck. Just things and Edwin and things that functionally work like Edwin. Okay. I still don't think it's good enough. I mean, the average size I could see this getting is like 7-7s. Seven I see 5-5. Five five. I don't see this getting oh, any seven, higher. Oh, seven, seven, 7 7s reliably easily you have uh like you have shadow steps you have uh young broom at youthful brewmasters specifically are Uh the ones that are relevant lab recruiters which we will get my rating up to a five this card seems cute but i don't like it it's six because you're gonna die to it i look forward to dying to it i look forward to dying to both poppers too Crazed Chemist. 5 mana, 4-4. Four, four. Combo, give a friendly minion plus 4 attack. This card Stop seems... making combo cards cost more than 3. Also, this card seems like an arena card and seems bad. I'm giving it a 4. 3. 3. Because that is the maximum cost a combo card should cost. Uh, what about Vile Smasher? Not Vile Smasher, I'm um, Vine Cleave. Vile, Vile Spine is the Vile literal spine. only exception. Because it's a good. Because if it cost any less, it would be fucking broken. Yeah, it's assassinated on a stick, quite literally. Yeah. Violent, ha- violent haze. Violet haze. Violet haze. Which is also probably pretty violent, seeing as you add are randi- adding two random death rattle cards to your yeah. head. Oh look, here's the death rattle cards. Yeah, there's death rattle cards that we want. Oh, it is random, so you could get other classes. Yes. Tess might play this card. Six. I'm cool giving this card a six. I think the upside of this card is is super, super high, and the downside of this card is like because because it is two very specific types of minions. Yeah. Oh, cards, cards! It can get death rattle weapons. Ooh. Ooh. But yeah, this card, like the worst case scenario, you get like I don't know, two leprechauns. Twig. No, worst case (laughs) scenario, you get two twigs. You get two twigs. At least you can trigger one of them. You're in row, you could trigger both of them. Reasonable. And use all the mana. Yeah. In one turn. Yeah. Anyway, that card's gonna get six. I, th- yeah, this card's gonna be interesting. It'll, it's gonna be fun. it'll, it'll uh, do things. It, it'll do things and stuff. Lab recruiter, two mana for three, two, battle cry, shuffle three copies of a friendly minion into your deck. Oh hey, it's getting up on a stick. Yeah, Pogo Hopper. It only only hits friendly minions. Gang up does hit any. Yeah. It's got any good. Uh, yeah, it works nicely with Pogo Hopper. So I'm going to hit the it same works rating. Ni- no, no, no. It works nicely with the Feldori Strider. It works nicely with... Um, Myra probably would be a good target for this, even. Tess... No, this, this card seems fine. This card seems really good. I'm 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 good giving it a six. Seven? I'm giving it a seven. Okay. Now I do that as all the rogue cards. Off to the shamans. Okay. Hi, Bat- winner of booms. Winner of Boomsday that isn't warrior. Mm-hmm. Seven mana. The Stormbringer. Uh, spell. Transform your minions into random legendary minions. I think this card is awesome. The upside is, is I'm high. Playing it, I'm, the... I'm playing it Murloc. Quest Murlocs. Oh, yeah. I'm playing it in Token Shaman. I'm playing it in whatever. This thing seems great. And this seems seems awesome, and I can't wait to lose to it. Or to win I cannot. It. I cannot wait to watch somebody cast this and get seven Liadris. Uh, I can't wait to someone play this in Wild getting uh, seven Finleys. You... 
Finley's a 1-3. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about getting, like, uh, one ones. Seven mana one ones across the board. <laughs> or the three mana one one, that shapeshifter guy? Um, dark shot, uh, dark, uh, dark peddler gnat. The, the bad gnat. Yeah, yeah. Of. The one that draws for your opponent. Yeah. Um, a bunch of things that dies to Baron Geddon and a Baron Geddon. <laughs> uh, this card seems great. I'm, I'm, I'm giving this an eight. Somehow transforming your minions into the darkness because he's not actually. <laughs> oh no, he is. Yeah. You turn him into darkness. There, there, there are a lot of ways you can fuck yourself up. Yep, I'm giving this an eight. This is eight because it's powerful effect and it's gonna be silly and it's great and all well, does that legend only copy ones from your deck or all in the entirety every single legendary very card in the game of whatever format you're playing so if you're playing standard you copy any possible legendary in all of standard if you're playing wild you copying any possible legendary creature in all of wild yeah so you can get some stupid shit yep Electra Storm Surge. That's a three mana three three elemental battle cry. Your next spell you this turn casts twice. Fine. Eureka. Yeah. Seven. There's there's a bunch of cards that are gross with this. Yep. Oh, like, do we have... There, there's there's no broken combo with this. There's nothing... I mean, Stormbringer. Um, Jason to Stormbringer. The, on turn the, the one mana board. evolve card that we have. Oh, Unstable Evolution? Yeah. Yeah, when you have two, you can actually uh, climb the chain faster. Yeah. This card seems fine. There, there's nothing that you... As far as I can think of, there's nothing that actually breaks the game. Nope. With Electra, I don't believe so. So I think this card is fine. But there's a bunch of really fun shit you can do with this. I agree. Nine. Give me a nine. Okay. It's just a super, just bunch of fun things. Okay. I'm going to give it an eight. I feel like this card is great. It is powerful. It does nothing broken, but it just doesn't do anything too broken. Yeah. Because shaman, all of shaman's best spells have overload costs. Yeah. And the second cast will trigger overload. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Yep. Thunderhead. Four mana, four, three, five, elemental. After you play a card with overload, summon two, one, one sparks with rush. Here. Oh, I don't have the sparks. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. So you have this in play. Mm-hmm. You need a way to lower your spell costs. Yeah. For what I'm thinking. It I mean, it, okay, so wild, you have your you have a minus three cost reduction to your spells. Let's say. <laughs> no, let's go with minus two. Minus two. But this is in play already. Your opponent's like, yeah, what are they gonna do with this? It's useless. So you have this. Sorry, Electra just... Storm Surge. I'm, I'm looking at Twitter. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I got it. Okay. So you have a co two cost reduction. Uh -huh. I think is what you need. Uh, I don't think Shaman has the ability what? to do that. I'm talking wild. Okay. A one cost reduction actually works. I just did the math wrong. Okay. Thunderhead I... is already in play. Uh -huh. Cast Voltaic Burst, uh -huh. which we'll get to in a minute. Uh -huh. That's four minions in board, five minions in board. Uh -huh. Electra Stormbringer. Uh -huh. I'm giving this card a five. I'm giving this card a six. Yeah. Because there's probably... We're starting to reach the point where you can actually make a proper overload deck. Yeah, we, we can make a cool overload deck, but I don't think there's anything we can also, do. Also, the that's... card looks really cool. Yes, the card does look really cool. On to the next one. Omega Mind is a two mana, two, three minion. Battle cry oh, and, if you have... And the... did, did you pull up the art of the sparks site right yet, or are they an actual card later? Uh, probably an actual card later. I mean, I think you probably have them I probably do associated too. with the Voltaic Burst somewhere. Yeah. If you have 10 mana crystals, your spell will have lifesteal this turn. Um, is Control Shaman a thing? It will be. Okay. 
what it was missing was early game uh like pressure mm -hmm. and proper late game recovery hmm. i feel like this card's fine this, I'm giving this a... fulfills both of those yeah. uh, i'm i think this card's fine i'm giving it a six yep i agree six eureka six mana uh, for a spell he'll summon a copy of a random minion from your hand <laughs> I mean, we already had a version of this, Ancestor's Call, which stopped combos and typically put Malagos in mana. Yep. Just cost two more, but only hits your stuff and summons a copy. Yep. I think this card is fine. Yep. Give me a solid six. Six, like its mana cost. Uh -huh. Storm Chaser is a four mana, three, four elemental. Battlecry, draw a spell from your deck that costs five or more. This is in the deck recipe deck for Shaman from this expansion, and the only three cards that it can possibly draw are the Stormbringer and two copies of um, Bloodlust. Hmm. Is Elemental Shaman any good? Mm, it's okay. Incidentally, the deck is called the Stormbringer, hmm. and it's an Elemental Shaman deck hmm. with Overload Synergies. I think this card is fine. It's not doing anything too powerful. I think it's a good card. If you're going to put this in deck, it does exactly what you want it to do, which is draw you a five or more card. Bloodlust or the Stormbring. Yeah. Or I guess in a control deck, it could also get you Volcano. Yep. I think yep. this card Seems is fine. fine. I'm giving it a solid six. Six, yeah. I'll take Burst is a one mana spell oh, that you summon two one one sparks with Rush. Overload one. I still don't have the elementals. You should get the elementals. It's fine. We will live. But these sparks are so cute! I agree, the sparks are cute. But we will live. I'm not gonna go out of my way to just get those cards. This card seems fine. The sparks are so cute! They're cute. I don't do that. This card seems fine. I don't know if you want uh, what deck you want to play this in. Do you want to play this the, Elemental Shaman? The, the Elemental right. Shaman, Stormbringer Shaman. Yeah. Seems like, Thunderhead, this Stormbringer. Like, Thunderhead in play, and then this into Stormbringer is five minions. Turned into, I like, five like, legendary. What? Electro probably sees play in Shutterwalk. <sighs> what spell are you copying? Anything that to uh, keep you alive. Fair. Is she, yeah, she probably sees play in Shadowwalk just as, like, a this plus healing rain. Yeah. Or a lightning storm to clear the board. Yeah. I, I would not want a lightning storm or volcano after. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Voltaic Burst seems fine. That is fine. a lot yeah. of... Uh, I, I, I don't think it's, like, anything good, but it seems fine. Yep. Yeah. I'm giving it a solid five. Oh, what actually did they update in the Shadowwalk deck? I don't know. Elementary Reaction. Two mana for a spell. Draw a card. Copy it if you played an elemental this t elemental last turn. Seems fine. Seems uh, not terrible. Seems like a solid six and an exciting card. Uh, yeah. I mean, is there a one mana elemental in Shaman? Uh, yeah. Uh, Firefly. Right. Yeah. Fire. Firefly. This get two copies of a card. Mm -hmm. Seems fine. Yeah, solid six. Yep. Solid six. Menacing Nimbus is a two mana, two, two elemental. Battle cry. Add a random elemental to your hand. Yep. This is another solid six. Another good card. No, for the this elemental. is a seven. This, this is, is seven. this seven. This is like quite powerful. Okay. I will trust your judgment. You can get the non shaman elementals. Rad is reasonable. Yeah, I, I can agree with that. Of which mage has a lot of very powerful things. That you could just random into. Oh, and and um the Tar Lord and Tar Creeper and whatever the other Tar one is. Yeah. I agree. You can get that. There's a lot of good elementals you can get. Yeah. The next card. If you're going to play this next card, don't, and put Zap in your deck instead. I'm just calling this Lightning. I'm not pronouncing that first word. Zero mana, Beaker? deal one. Yeah, Beaker, thank you. Beaker, Lightning. Zero mana, deal one damage to all minions. Overload two. This card seems bad. 
if you want to play this card, play Zap, which is zero mana, two damage to a minion, overload one. That's going to kill a minion. This isn't. Yep. This this is this all this is good against is Paladin, and it's just going to rebuild its board faster than you can keep clearing it. Yep. I'm going to give this a three. I'm giving this a one. Okay. On to Warlock. Warlock. Dr. Morgan. Dr. Morgan. Yeah. Morgan. Um, Morgan, Morgan. Whatever. Morgan. Okay. Eight mana, five, five. Death Rattle, swap this with a minion from your deck. Recurable minion spawning? I guess I could get you a Recurable void, void, void terror spawning. Yeah. But it costs eight. Yeah. You can't cheat it into play easily. Oh. Four. I'm giving it a five. Seems meh. Very meh. Seems unplayably meh. But yeah. interesting enough to not give it an actual, like, yeah. garbage score. Solarium, a one mana legendary spell. Draw three cards at the end of your turn, discard them. Draw your, your death knight, discard your death knight. Yep. Draw Goldan, discard Goldan. <laughs> Um, Only ever play this when you're at 10 mana. This card seems fine in Control Warlock. Aggro Warlock. Aggro Warlock also. Like, I, I, this card's... Heals, heals you actually will play this. Yeah. It, this 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 is good card. I'm giving this an 8. 7. The, the downside is a little too high for me to give it an 8. That's fair. Ectomancy. It's a six mana spell. Summon copies of all demons you control. Void Terrors. Summon an extra copy of Void Terror. Possibly yeah. two Void Terrors. Yeah. I mean, I guess you could also get uh, Doom Guards. I'm giving this a six. I feel like the decks that have demons in them, their lists are already tight enough or are too low to the ground that they don't care. I mean, Lord of the Ground might actually care about this, because if they have three minions in play, if you have three demons in play and then you play this, you have six demons in play now. But I feel like... Uh... It's a six. Uh... I don't think the, the, I don't think it's good enough. But it's cool. I don't think it's good enough at all. I'm giving it a six, because it is playable. There um, are good applications for it. Omega Agent is a 5 mana 4 5 minion with Battlecry. If you have 10 mana crystals, summon 2 copies of this minion. I mean, a 5 mana 1415 sounds fine. You're just playing this control, Warlock, right? The only time you are ever casting this 10 mana crystals. Yeah, so, yeah, you're just, this is going Control Warlock, and, three and I, spaces don't, on board. I don't even know if Control Warlock wants this. I don't think it wants it right now. I think after rotation, it loves this. I can agree with that. I'm giving this a solid 6. I'm giving it a 7. Okay. Because I'm looking to the future. I, I feel like in the future we'll have better cards in it. I mean, yes, but we're also, we'd also be losing most of what Control Warlock uses right now. That is fair and reasonable. Like, come rotation, Control Lock loses Death Knight, it loses Void Terror. Hmm. Weapon. Yeah. Alrighty. Lackey, or whatever it is. Yeah. Nether Soul Buster is a 3 mana 1 5 demon! Battlecry! Gain plus 1 attack for each damage your hero has taken this turn. So it's a 5 mana. Uh, 3 5? Two hero power? I mean, Spirit Bomb, deal 4 damage to a minion and your hero. Yeah. 5 mana, 5-5. Five, five. Yeah. On removal. Like, the... Pit Lord, 8 mana, 6-5, and a 5-6. Yeah. Turn this... 4... Um... Now, this card seems like a 6. It doesn't seem overly exciting. Turn 4, you can reliably make this either a 5 or a 3-5. Yeah. I'm giving this card a six. Seems, seems fine, actually. Six. Doesn't seem because when you get powerful. it, when you, if, if you get it without the battle cry, it's gonna god off. Yeah. 
Void Analyst is a 2 mana 2-2 two, two demon. Death Rattle, give all demons in your hand plus 1 plus 1. I'm going to routinely dislike this Three. mechanic that Hard Three. Blizzard keeps I, no, trying no, no. to do. I am okay with the hand buff. It needed to be a battle cry. Yeah, I just don't like the hand buff mechanic. I feel like it's not good enough. Soul Infusion, 1 mana. Give the leftmost minion in your hand a plus 2 plus 2. This is a good hand buff. Yes. Because you can manipulate it to be on explicit minions you want. And it's cheap as fuck. It probably just goes into aggro walk. And, uh, yeah, Zoo Paladin want, or Zoo Lock want this. Uh, yeah. Control Lock might actually want this. Eh, probably not. Three mana, two nine Doomsayer? Make it harder for things to kill? Ten, ten mana, five eleven Void Lord. I think I'll see playing in aggro. I don't think Doom Lock guards. I just think control I think lock I think there are applications for it in Doom in uh, Control Lock. I yeah. don't think they want it right, now, but yeah. I think there are applications for it. I'll give this card a six. It, it can yeah, it can see some playing some Zoo decks. Seven, the Zoo decks would gladly play this. Okay. Doubling Imp. Three mana, two, two, demon. Summon a copy of this minion. So where's our shutter walk? I know, right? S okay. We're, the, the card after this, we're gonna we're gonna see. S I can guarantee you at some point you are going to play the card that we're gonna review after this one mm -hmm. versus a shaman, and they're gonna get this card, and it won't have turned their shutter walk into this card. But it'll have turned in like one of their like less useful battle cries, or one of their death rattle draw effects uh -huh. into this, or like just one of their draw cards into this, yeah, and then five. they're gonna have an extra. I'm giving this a five as well because you are going to get wrecked by this at one point. Two mana demonic because project. Each player transform all order. random minion is in their hand into a demon. A random minion in their hand to a demon. Not all, like you said. Okay. This forms a random demon in their hand into a demon. Control card. Yep. Because you use it to block combo decks. Yep. It seems like another um, Procene card, not much a ladder card. I mean, depending on how much uh, combo druid or um, uh, Shutterwalk hmm. continues to see play, this probably just makes it into almost every Warlock deck as like a one of tech card. Yeah, I can see that. Hit their Shutterwalk, turn it into a demon. Yep. Hit their Grumble, turn it into a demon. Hit uh, Hadjnox, turn it into a demon. Hit uh, Malagos. Any of the combo cards. Like, this is very powerful. Yeah. But you could also end up giving them a Void Terror, or... Draxis, or... I'm giving this a six. Yeah. Seven? Because it it will see play. You you are going to end up playing this at some point. All right. It's a pretty... It's one of the better demonic projects. Or one of the better projects. And here we have Goku's final form. Spirit Bomb. Two mana spell. Deal four damage to a minion and your hero. Seems fine. Self-damage, self under cost of damage removal... Six. Yeah, seems fine. They're, Druid, Druid, ha, or Warlock has self damage synergies. Yep. I'm giving it a six. Yeah, six. Alrighty. Almost done all the classes now. Yep. We're on to Warrior now. The boom. And ship. as a reminder, we'll do a quick, hmm? like, maybe two minute break after Warrior. Yes. So that we can get up, stretch your legs, get a snack. The boom get a ship. Go to the bathroom. Is a uh, nice if, meta if you, spell. Summon three random minions from your hand. Give them rush. If you, for whatever reason, are trying to figure out what legendaries you should craft, this one and the next one. This card looks like a combo kill. Yep. It gives them rush, but charge overrides rush. Mm hmm. So. I'm giving this a nine. Grom or. Grimash. Yeah, Grom. Grimash and uh, two charge devil source. Yeah. 
And then a whirlwind effect. Mm -hmm. I'm going to a nine. That's 24 damage. Yeah, I'm giving it a nine. Like, it's mana cost. Worst case scenario is you get, like, a Beryllium Nullifier, a Dynamatic, and an Eternium Rover. And sure, that seems not great, but fine. Yeah. Welcome to Dr. Boom, Mad Genius. And if you are all wondering what all of his... His effects do, uh, give me two seconds. Yeah, he's got a... If you're hovering over his thing in the uh, collection, his uh, hero power will be called the Big Red Butt. Yes, I have all the hero powers currently rotating on a slideshow at the moment. You can read them as they pop up. As we talk about yep. this card. This card is a seven mana alternative hero cost card. We call them Death Knights just because that's what the Death Knight first was. Battle cry for the rest of the game, your mechs have rush. That on itself is already fine, and it's the one guy who gives you seven armor instead of regular five, like the other Death Knights. And all of the freaking like hero powers. The, are the awesome. average, the average effect of the hero power is either gain three armor or deal three damage. That's the average yeah. of what his hero power does. Because Micro Squad summons three one one microbots. That's three damage as you see fit. Mm -hmm. Because all your mechs have rush. Zap cannon, three damage, one target, wherever you want it. Kaboom, Delivery deal throw. damage. Just, yeah, kaboom, deal one damage to all enemies. That's enemy hero and all their minions. Uh, delivery drone, discover a mech. It's going to have rush. Blast shield, gain seven armor. On average, if you get blast shield every other turn, you are better than the base hero power. Mm -hmm. Or every, every four to, to be on rough parody with the base hero power or the upgraded hero power you either need this every four turns with the base or every other turn with the upgraded this is going to send control war a warrior into the sky yeah garrosh no longer king of death knight for warrior because mm -hmm. it was the only one now it's this yep I am giving this if you card might, a 10. you might you might play garrosh just to trigger him before you play dr boom yeah, this is a ten. If you if you even if you don't play warrior, build this craft this card. This is this card can single handedly win you games. Yep. And single handed just this and then fill your deck with mechs. Yep. Just this, I see this in and then in a just shell. search mech and then just dump every mech into it. This is going into a control shell. Control shell, mech warrior. Yeah. Uh, mid range warrior. This, this card's gonna Are be you insane. playing War- Fuck, Pirate Warrior might play this. I'm not kidding. I know you're not. M Pirate Warrior might actually run this as a top end. Alrighty. Because Pirate think, Warrior runs out of steam very quickly. I think we've uh, talked about Dr. Boom enough. He's a good card. Play him, craft him, do all the things with him. He's a good card. You will not regret it. Yeah, there's- In gen- just, just, just a general statement. In the sets with only one death knight, craft the death knight. Yeah. Make sure you get the death knight. Yeah. Belirium nullifier is a seven mana three eight. Beryllium. Beryllium. Magnetic can't be targeted by spells or hero powers. Uh, this is something that you magnetic onto other stuff. Yep. This is something that you magnetic onto. Yep. If you manage to get it into play beforehand. Good yep. card. You think it's overcosted, but it's actually probably undercosted. Yeah. I'm giving this a seven. A seven, much like it's mana cost. Mm -hmm. This card's fine. Super Collider. It's a five mana, one attack, three durability weapon. After you attack a minion, force it to attack one of its neighbors. So your opponent has a Malagos and the uh, the Divine Shield Poisonous minion. You attack the Divine Shield Poisonous minion, well, it still has Divine Shield. Yep. Then it kills the Malagos. This is a control card, and it's much better than people are probably going to give it credit. Yep. I feel like this card is a solid you have six. Plenty of ways to just tank yourself back up. You can take a pretty big hit from this. I'm giving this a six. Six, yeah. Security Rover is a six mana two five mech. Whenever this minion takes damage, summon a 2-3 mech with taunt. 
I mean, this is a really good magnetic target. Yes. You give it some. You give it taunt. Uh, there's a magnetic one five for like three. I think it is. Yeah. And it seems fine. Yeah. I probably would. If I'm putting this in my deck myself, I'm probably only putting one, but I'd gladly discover it off of Dr. Boom. Yeah. Or Omega Assembly, or any other thing that discovers a mech. Yeah, I think this card is fine. Yep, six, much like its mana cost. Yep. I'll agree with you there. And there's Interestingly guard, there's enough, token, the guard when, you, when you're around like the five, six, seven range for mana costs, their scores reliably also land in that range. <laughs> oh, that is a very cute guard bot. Yeah. Alrighty. That is very cute. On to the next Dynomatic. Card. Yeah, Dynomatic is a 5 mana 3 4 mech. Battlecry, deal 5 damage randomly split among all minions except mechs. It's a slightly better Goblin Blastmaster or whatever it was from Mech Mage back in the day. Yep. It is a lower attack, same health, same cost. It's a mech. And it only hits things that aren't mechs. Yep. Horrible in the mirror, but... Uh, I feel this card is fine. I'm giving it a solid it, six. Six, yeah. Omega Assembly is a one mana spell. Discover a mech if you have five... If you have ten mana crystals, pardon me. Keep all three cards. This goes into Mech Warrior and goes into Control Warrior and goes into Mech base. Warrior, Control Warrior, Mid Range Fuck. Warrior goes Mid Range. Into... If you Pirate if you... Warrior probably plays this as well, to be honest. If you have Doctor Boom in your deck, you're playing this card as well. Yep. I'm giving this an eight. Nine. I think this might be the best Omega card. Yep. Rocket and boots. It's... Give a minion rush draw a card. Uh not exciting. Four? Yeah. It does things. No, you can give your opponent's minion rush if you just yep. need to cycle a card. Weapons project. Two mana. Each player equips a two three weapon and gains six armor. I think this is the worst project. I don't. The worst project card is the uh Fuck, what is it? Uh, uh, it stops combo decks, specifically. Uh, the worst one's the mage one. Eh. This. Okay, your opponent has. Uh, I'm giving this they a four are. Regardless. I'm giving it a seven because of combo prevalence. I think this is. A Weapon bad based combo. It card. stops. It stops standard druid combos. Because they need their twig. I don't like this card because of the reason that it's giving your opponent uh, extra health and the fact that it's giving them a, rel a relative, a repeatable source of removal in form of a weapon. That is why you don't like your, this card. Your warrior, their health total is largely irrelevant. Agreed, the health total is largely irrelevant. You're generally fatiguing them anyway. The weapon, largely irrelevant if you're control warrior, which is the only way you're playing this card. This is... Con I feel control like warrior has problems versus... Thing. Control. control Warrior has problems with combo decks. This gets rid of Twig. This gets rid of Alumet. Get this, gets, this gets rid of If you get rid of any Twig, of though, the it, gets, it triggers the Death Rattle. On your turn. They still get the 10 mana. Yeah, they're only ever proc... They're not using it as ramp. They're using it as a combo trigger. Malagos, use the last charge. Get your 10 mana back. Play your spells. I mean, I guess. I still don't this like this. This, this stops Alunet. This stops the Skull of Minari. This stop, which seriously, getting rid of Skull is... If you if they play Skull and pass turn, which is what they're going to do, I feel like play this a weapons is project not into it. a ladder you card. You really don't care. The, probably not. You're going to want one copy of it in Control Warrior if you're playing it on ladder. Yes. Control I... Warrior's worst matchup is the combo decks that use a weapon. Kingsbane, if they if they have eight cards in hand, or nine cards in hand, are Valera death You can mill their Kingsbane. Mm -hmm. You can get rid of their I want to see how long he lasts. 
and six armor versus their spell. Uh, Woe Cleaver, you can get rid of. And you don't care. You done? Oh, there, there are a lot of cards. Did you mute me again? No. Like, this is actually much better than it looks. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I still don't think it's worth a seven. It's a seven in one deck. I still Everything don't think else it, I, is like a four. I still don't think it warrants a seven. I think at max it warrants like a six. Again, that's why we have two different people. That's fair. Also, Wild has some weird weapon shenanigan things. That's... Giving them a 2-3 weapon is... whatever. Yeah. And Hell, sometimes and you might just play this for 6 armor. Taunt Warrior? Yeah. And the last card for Warrior is e Eternum Rover. Uh, one yes, mana, please. one three. Whatever this minion takes damage, gain 2 armor. So at max, you are ever gaining 6 armor. Rampage? I'm saying without any buffs or anything. At max, yes. you're gaining six armor. If you buff yes. it, you can get more. Yep. Best case scenario, this is like an Acolyte of Pain. I... Best I case scenario, this is six armor. Worst case scenario, you're gaining two. No worst case scenario, you're gaining none. It's one mana. Am I see playing the mech? It's 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 one it's one mana and it's a mech. You can magnetic onto it. That's fair. God, could you imagine this plus bru So you get this into play and they're like, oh there's dude, I'm not gonna bother with this. It's nothing. Brilliant nullifier, the taunt one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I feel Give like Give it plus that. four plus thirteen. Yeah. And taunt and can't be targeted by spells or hero powers. Mm-hmm. I feel like it starts fine. I, I'm giving it a solid, it, it's, like, it's, six. It's a one-mana mech. It's, it's, it's... For mech warrior, it's a magnetic target. Yep. Solid six. Six, yeah. Alrighty. Do you believe that is I almost want to give it a seven, but I think six is more correct. Yeah. I don't think this card's worth a seven. Nope. Alrighty. Uh, we're on to the neutral cards next. Did I just thought of another reason to uh, use weapons project in control warrior. Mm. Safely... The battle cry death rattle will win without having to attack. Mm -hmm. Relevant because you could attacking into anything could be lethal to you. That's fair. Alrighty, we all have to start off. Also gets rid of. Also instantly gets rid of gore howls. Yeah. Arc knight beepers. Buffed yep. weapons. Ready to get uh, through? Just plow through all these neutral cards. Yep. Alrighty, so since we are onto the neutral portion of this, we are going... There is a lot of these, and a lot of these tend to turn out to be the uh, pack fillers of uh, the cards, and so we are going to just slam right through these. We're not going to talk about them too much unless they weren't talking about. Like this guy, Mechathune. Each of the legendary sketch talked about. Yes. Mechathune is a 10 meta 10 10 mech. Death Rattle. If you have no cards in your deck, hand, and battlefield, destroy the enemy hero. I'm giving this... This is the Winmore effect, because this card is, like, no. It's not Winmore, because when you're doing this, you're not already winning. Moved a bit? No, he wasn't. Mm. Um, so it's not Winmore, because generally you're not winning if you're planning on playing this. Yeah. This is a last resort sort of thing. This, or your deck is built entirely around it. This card is Druid and Rogue have the easiest ways to deal with it. Can we agree this card is bad? I can agree that you are go definitely going to die to this card, and it's a combo Druid deck, a combo Rogue deck, and possibly a combo Warlock deck. Can we both agree this card is bad though? <laughs> no, because I think it's not bad. I think this is a six. Okay. This is actually quite good. It's a very interesting card. I'm going to give it a 5, only because you can magnetic stuff onto it. <laughs> that is a way to get rid of minions in your hand and not put them on the board. Yeah. Subject 9. 5 mana 4 for Beast! The first Beast we've seen this entire time! I wish I was kidding. Battlecry, draw 5 different secrets from your deck. 
I think this card is unneeded. Okay, so standard, what are you playing it in? Nothing, because I didn't see No, 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 we're, we're, we're assuming you are forced to play this card. Oh, God. What are you playing it in? I mean, there's only three decks, with, or four decks with secrets, but... You're not playing it in Rogue because you reliably only play one of the secrets at a time. I'm playing this in, like, Hunter. Freezing, Snipe, Explosive, Rat? Yeah. I don't think you're playing this in Mage. Mage does not need this card. Hunter's, like, no. the only one I think you could use this one reliably. And to be in... fair, pa if you're playing Secret Paladin in Standard, you do get to play this on turn 10 and then play all those secrets. That is reasonable, yeah. It's a trap card. <laughs> in Wild, I'd rather just play Secret... Or not Secret Keeper, um... Mysterious Challenger. Yeah, agreed. But I feel like this card is unneeded and unwanted, and so I'm giving it a 4. Uh, three. It's really not good. Zilliax. Yeah. This is the other legendary that you need to get. Five mana, three, two, mech! Magnetic Divine Shield Taunt, Life Seal, and Rush! So, keywords on a stick. It's like Zoltalpa. This is, quote, this is why Shadow Boxer was nerfed. Yeah. <laughs> Like, actually, this is why they nerfed Shadow yeah, Boxer, yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's not like you wouldn't give it lifesteal anyway. Yeah. Um, this card seems great. It seems fine. This seems good. You're going to play it in all your mech decks. You're going to want to craft ten this card. Ten out of ten. I'm giving it a nine. Ten. It's literally the other of the two. It's craft Dr. Boom and this. That's fair. Harbinger Celestia is a 4 mana 5 6 legendary creature. A stealth. After your opponent plays a minion, become a copy of it. I. This is a really bad mirror image. Yes. I don't think this card's good. Three? Uh, four. Okay. Because somebody's going to find a way to use To talk actually. a little bit more why we think this card is bad, um, it really doesn't do enough. In fact, it's a 4 mana 5 6 do nothing. And so many things that can go wrong, and not enough things that can go right. Yep. It's a bad mirror image. Mirror image you can at least, like, fool your opponents playing around. Yeah. Whizbang the Wonderful is a 4, or man, a 4, 5 legendary creature. You start the game with one of Whizbang's wonderful decks. Whizbang's wonderful decks are all the deck recipes that you get. Uh, so. I'm not going to go over them card by card. I'm going to go over the general themes and for the classes quick. That's why I have Hearthstone open still. Um, Can we give a TLDR? TLDR, are you a new player? Yes, don't get this card. This is not actually a good card for new players. Hmm. This is a card for a good card for established players who are free to play or don't have a lot of uh, collection already. Um, yeah, I'm giving a TLDR of each of the deck recipes quick. I was saying just a TLDR, just like of which ones you want, and everything else is bad. Oh, I mean, Gilneas Armory, bad. It's a mess. It's Quest Warrior with Rush and Taunt and yeah, just like uh, I feel like the the tell us like the four or like five decks that are good, and the rest one we can just assume are bad. I mean, I'm just gonna go over them each because they're all quick. Like Gilneas Armory, not very good. Boomsday Project. Um, Boomsday Project is basically just Mech Warrior with Dr. Boom and Zilliax, and it's actually just really good. It, it might actually be, like, with a few cards here and there changed, the Mech Warrior deck outright. Hmm. Um, so it actually, that's pretty good. Uh, Which Would Awoken is not great. It's a heg of the deck that doesn't have Shutterwalk in it anymore. Yeah. Stormbringer is elemental shaman with stormbringer and reload stuff and it's fine like it's actually not that bad um rogue has stolen research it's burgle rogue it's valira it's tess it's vile spine it's spectral cutlass it's academic espionage edwin it's have you seen burgle rogue yes it's like 22 cards exactly the same as like a pro made burgle yep the necrium trials 
is just bad. It's just not good. Yep. Um, Paladin is the Grey Man Alliance, which is a even deck, and it's okay. Uh, Kangor's Endless Army. It's Kangor's Endless Army. It's a bunch of mechs, and a bunch of mechs, and a bunch of mechs, and a bunch of mechs. It's serviceable. Like, I would not be sad to get that one. Mm -hmm. uh, I Hunt Alone. It's literally just Spell Hunter. Yep. Hey, I'm missing Rock Dalar, which I don't think is a good card for the deck, and two Secret Plants already. It's a good deck. Yep. Uh, Lark's Fireworks is basically a new mech Death Rattle deck, and it's it looks fine. Mm -hmm. it, there's, it's like 90% new cards, so I, I can't actually give it any relevance. Uh, Out of the Woods is the first Druid one, and it's the Astral Tiger infinite mill deck thing. It's like, I have Astral Tiger on Astral Tiger on Astral Tiger. It's like Jade Druid, except you don't get things that just infinitely get big. You get three fives. Trees are friends. It's mulchmuncher.deck and it's fine there's nothing wrong with the deck it's a cool token druid um warlock has the omega project it's got omega defender omega agent possessed lackey it's it's a control work well, it actually doesn't look that bad uh de demonology lab it's demons.deck fine. Mage has spells are fun. So fun. It's big spell mage. With uh, elementals. Uh, then you have shooting stars. It's uh, unexpected results dot deck. With mm. uh, cosmic anomaly, stargazer, luna, cinderstorm, arcane intellect, uh, some max spells. It's a new version of tempo mage. If you don't know what a good tempo mage list looks like, that's serviceable. Mm -hmm. uh, and the priest decks, which are Quest for Immortality, Zarek's Cloning Gallery, Zarek deck. Okay, yeah, it's a literal quest. It's Awaken the Makers. It's Awaken... Yeah, it's fucking... It's quest... God damn it, how did we not see it? It's Death Rattle, Infinite Death Rattle, Death Rattles, more Death Rattles, it's fucking Priest Quest. Zarek is for Priest Quest. And Awesome Augmentation is another Zarek deck that just wants you to put cards on cards on cards on cards on cards, and is a Divine Spirit deck. So, yeah, in exchange for the previous uh, deck recipes, th these are actually all pretty good. There's, I'd say, a less than 50% dud rate, but I, I think there's like 20% of the decks are bad, 30% are actively good. And then the rest are just playable. Like, you, you could climb ladder with a whiz bang. Slowly, but you could. Mm -hmm. Probably up to, like, 15. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's like... whiz, whiz, whiz bang is not bad. But don't get it if you're a new player just picking up the game. Like, if you have established and you understand game mechanics and stuff, sure, pick it up. You could probably actually do stuff with it. Yep. I'll agree with that. On to the next one. Also, I'm giving this card a three. I'm giving it a five because it's memes. And okay. It's not good, but it's... As I was saying in the chat, if you somehow win win a game with this card, please tweet uh, the win uh, to me. I would love to see who you beat and how you beat them. I mean, they're all... All the decks are fine. There's, like, two that are pretty bad in the meta, but are playable. Oh, I know. I just still do it. I want to see. I want to see whose butt you beat. So I can laugh Oh, yeah. Them. Oh, I mean, fuck, I played the Shutterwalk one when it was in the Tavern Brawl, and I beat most of the things. I beat somebody with Freeze Shaman hmm. at one point, and that was garbage. Yeah. Alrighty. Off to 
the rest the of the epics. Onto the epics, uh, we won't talk about these too much, but we'll give a general no. rundown of these. A any of the relevant ones we'll talk about, um, but most of them are like yes, no. Yeah, Star Liner, seven mana, seven seven. Battle cry. No. If you control three minions with seven health, deal seven damage to all enemies. No. Unlike it, uh, it's one. Unlike the a casino, multiple sevens in this case is not good. I'm giving this a a, a two. I'm giving it a one because somehow somebody's going to kill this. Yes. EMP operative. Five mana, three, three. Battle cry, destroy a mech. This is fine. This is getting a six. It's going to be a meta call. Oh, it's going to be six. another yep. uh, another pro play card also. Yep. Oh, shoot. Follow Mancer, five mana, three, three. Hey, uh, minion, after your opponent plays a minion, summon a 1-1 one, one copy of it. This card seems meh. Sea Harbinger Celestia. Yes. One. It's very easy to play around. Yep, and it's very easy to kill. I'm going to hit a one as well. Yep. Loose Specimen. One second here. Five mana, four, six, six, beast! Second beast we've seen this entire time. Battlecry, deal six damage randomly split among other friendly minions. No. What if your only other friendly minion is a gun spider? Eh. Slight amount of value. Rot face? You have to wait for you have to hope rot face stuck on the board. But it's pretty rel You only have rot face left in your deck, you have a wool cleaver. Yeah. Wool yeah. cleaver. Yeah. Loose specimen. Yeah, but there are cases where this can be played and it's fine. You can play it on an empty board, say, and it doesn't actually hit anything. Yeah. Um, I'm... you have armor, armor smiths, the little dinky Eternium rover, mm -hmm. um, the I'm... card draw thing. Like there are uses for this card. It's still not good. Mm -hmm. I'm giving it a six, a five. Four? I mean, four. I four? think it's okay. on the unplayable side of useful effect, yeah, or interesting effect at least. Also, the card looks cool. Um, uh, Omega Defender, I believe, is the next one, right? Uh, no, uh, C four. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Sephorium Bomber. Yeah. Uh, Sephorium Bomber, 5 mana, 5, 5 minion. Battle Cry, shuffle bomb into your opponent's deck. If drawn, it explodes with, in for 5 damage. What it's was like the that, legendary's uh, name? I forget. It's a mech. It's a warrior mech legendary that did the same thing, except it did 10 damage when it's drawn. And was like a 7 mana, 7 fire or something? Yeah, something like that. This is fine. Eh. It's fine. I mean, this plus brand and five. I'll give it a six. I, c I can see this actually seeing play. Yep. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Omega Defender. Omega Defender. Four mana, two, six, taunt. Battle cry if you have ten mana crystals, gain plus ten attack. This card sees... I wish this had the mech subtype. That's not the art that it uses anymore. Because that looks like a mech. That is not a mech. That is a suit operated by a goblin hmm. they have they have changed the art for this card okay that's not the art they have for it anymore it's the art uh, i'm pulling it up right now i mean if i'm going to link art i'm going to link both versions this is the new art oh looks a lot better yeah they, i mean just straight up the art is better it does a better job of showing that this isn't a mech mm -hmm. This is actually just going to see what this is fine. Yep. This is actually pretty good. This is six. Six, yeah. Weaponized Pinata is a four mana, four, three mech, death rattle out a random legendary made into your hand. This seems fine. Piloted, sh piloted Shredder and Sneeds, this is not. Because this adds it to your hand, and most legendaries have very relevant battle cries. Yep. So this is pretty good. I'd actually probably play this in most mech decks. I agree. It could see playing some tempo decks. Tempo, yeah. Mid range. It is a four mana four three with a relevant death rattle effect. Yep. I think this card is fine. I think it's great. I'm gonna give this a seven. I was thinking the same thing. It's a solid seven. Border borderline eight. Yep. Augmented elk. Elk. Elk, really? Yep. Okay. Three mana three four beast. Whenever you shuffle a card into a deck, shuffle an extra copy in it. Now. Turn seven, or yeah, turn seven. This uh, esp academic espionage. Yes, please. I'll take twenty. I'll take twenty cards, please. This plus psychic scream. No, 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 no. This plus um, 
where is it? Uh, Pogo Hopper and Lab Recruiter. No, this plus um, Dead Man's Hand. Yes, that too. But Pogo Hopper, this Lab Recruiter, shuffle six Pogo Hoppers into your deck. Hmm. I'm giving this a f six. It seems cute. I'm giving this a six. You're going to die to Pogo Hoppers or Burgle Rogue or Dead Man yep. Warrior. Like this is very combo centric. Yep. In combos that don't outright win you the game. Yep. On to the next one. We have the Crystallizer. It's a Crystal. one mana one three. Battle cry, deal five damage to your hero, gain five armor. This and then that demon. Sure. Four mana six five and a one three, and you've technically not lost any health. Yep. I'm still waiting for uh, uh, Wizards to print a card that pierces through armor. You mean Blizzard? Yes. You said Wizards. Yep. Yeah, no, this card is fine if super niche and weird. But uh, super actually playable? I'm a six? Yeah. This triggers Battle Rage without actually causing you to, take, uh, to lose life. Yep. Which Arc is relevant. Arcane Dynamo is a 6 mana 3 4. Minion. Battle Cry Discover a spell that costs 5 or more. Uh, yeah, that seems fine. This, it seems like an uh, arena card. I don't know. Super, if it... super generic 6. Yep. And only for arena. Yep. Mechanical Whelp is a 6 mana 2 2. Max Death Rattle Summon a 7 7 Mechanical Dragon. Here it is. Oh, I don't know what the Mechanical Dragon looks like. I didn't actually look. Oh, that looks cool. It looks like a dog. Uh, this is actually probably a card that you actually will willingly put into decks. Specifically, Mech Warrior. Because it's a mech and it can be magnetic to magnetize. No, no. Because it's a mech and it then gains rush after you play Dr. Boom. Ah, uh, yes. And it's a 6 mana 9 damage minion. I'm willing to give it a 6. I'm willing to give this a 7. Okay. Missile Launcher is a 6 mana 4 4 mech with magnetic. At the end of your turn, deal 1 damage to all other characters. This includes yourself, your board, and your opponents in their board. It's fine. You magnetic it onto things. It's probably only good in Arena. Yep. 5? Five. 5, yeah. Spark Drill is a 6 mana 5. I have 1 mech with Rush. Death Rattle. Add 2 1 1 sparks with Rush to your hand. Silver so we'll Pepper. Sparks. Death Rattle triggers when the minion with Death Rattle dies, or yes. you have an effect that triggers it otherwise. Yes. It is the Rattle of Death. Mm -hmm. It's like they're dying breath. They, <laughs> they're they're like shaking their fist at you, and their fist is a rattle, and they die, and then something happens. Yep. Spark Trail seems meh. It's removal in arena. Five. Four. Giggling Inventor. Is hello, it... hello, hello, hello. Is it five mana two one? Oh, and a five mana two one minion. Battlecry summon two one two max with taunt and divine shield. This creates a Noyotron. Fuck off! I don't like this this card. Already. The token it's... is even a Noyotron, by the way. Of course it is. I don't have the token, but it I actually no. It just summons straight up a Noyotron. It... Every this... mech deck you should play I'm this. I'm giving this a seven. I'm giving this a seven because this is actually hey, we're incredibly done with broken. this conversation. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Replicating menace. Four <laughs> mana, three one mech. Magnetic death rattle. I'm in three one one microbots. There's the microbot. The microbots. Yes, this seems fine. I'm giving all this the a tokens six. in this set are adorable. Blizzard does a good job making tokens. Yeah, I'm giving it a six. Yep, six. Seems fine. Seems fine. Galvanizer. Gal no, Galvanizer. 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 I, I, I rumbled that one. Jesus, Galvanizer. <laughs> yeah. That was German coming out. Uh, two mana four, one, two mech. Battle cry, reduce cost of your mech, senior hand by one. That is a static effect. Heck, that uh, stays forever. By stays forever, but it's I mean, a battle like, cry. Yeah, but it's a battle cry. But it's on a battle cry, so it's not mech war. It seems fine. It's a good standard lower power mech warper, and it probably sees play alongside mech warper. It's in solid wild. six in my eyes. It's a nice solid six, yes. Spark engine. 
Here's the sparks. I have the sparks now. <gasps> you have the sparky. Two mana, two, one, one mech battle cry. Add a one, one spark with rush to your hand. Here's the spark. The spark is a cube. I don't. Do you play this, this in is... any mech decks? Probably not. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking four. You might play this in an elemental deck. <laughs> you might. I'm giving this a four. Four. It, it's yeah. a fine arena card, but I don't think it's going to see play in any uh, constructed decks. Yep. Unpowered Mauler is a two mana two four mech. Can only attack if you cast a spell this turn. I. Holy shit! It's the easiest one to trigger with this effect. Yep. We've had your hero's attack. You've used your hero power, and now this. Casting a spell, pretty goddamn easy. Yeah. This is fine. It's still only a giving a, getting a four from me. Battle cry is when cast. Yeah. It's actually not when ETBs. It is when cast. I know, but he, he plays magic. He knows an ETB. No, no. That is relevant because it's not on enter the battlefield. It is on when you cast this. It's Nulamog, not like eternal witness yeah no. uh i'd still give this card a four uh yeah this card's a three two something all right we're on we're on to the comments we're gonna breeze these yeah. bulldozer nine out of nine seven mech divine shield <laughs> very cute art actually playable in arena this is an arena card four five sure. it's a good arena card and i'm not disappointed to discover this yeah in constructed like this is perfectly fine yep uh damage stegotron is a six mana five twelve no huh? no. no damage stegotron. no taunt battle card deal six damage to this minion no no no, no. one two okay because it's a mech it, it's you can it, a five six for six is still relatively soft. Uh, Rusty Recycler is a five mana two six mech with taunt and life steal. This is fine. We get one of these five mana taunt things every single set. This is a fine card. It's Johnny five with a shield. Yep. This is getting a three five. This is a five. This is perfectly serviceable okay. as a mech. I'm giving it a. Four. Remember, it's a mech. Mech is able to boost some pretty shit cards pretty high up because of the mech subtype. Yep. Uh, War Gears, a 5 mana 5, 5 mech with magnetic. Hey, look, it's magnetic stats. It's a 5. It's a 4. It's... You're only ever playing this if you're magnetizing it onto something. Uh, Copper Tail Imposter is a 4 mana 4, 4 mech. Balakar gains stealth into your next turn. 4. Yep. Explodinator. Four mana three two battle cry summon two one two goblin bobs. Here's your bo goblin bomb tribal. Deck. Zero two goblin bobs. Goblin bomb tribal. Goblin bomb tribal. Goblin bomb tribal. I'm playing. I'm assuming you're gonna play Nazoth in that deck and get all your goblin bombs back. Yes. <laughs> and and play dead and feign death and. Yeah, you have you have fun with that. I'm gonna have a lot of fun. I'm giving us a five. And I'm I'm going to not really use my rating because I don't really play. It's a five. It's. I mean, it's perfectly serviceable in Arena. Perfectly yep. serviceable as a Discovery And here's standard. the card we're going to highest, the highest common we're gonna, probably going to rate. Piloted Reaper is a 4 mana 4, 3. Or a Mac Death Rattle Summon a random minion from your hand, and that costs 2 or less. This gets an 8 across the board. This is a good eight. card. It gets played in Tempo decks. It plays in Aggro decks. It gets played, period. It gets played in Control decks because you can reliably have it die into a Doomsayer. Yep. It's a good card. This, is an, this is an 8. This is just really good. Yep. Crap this card. You are going to this win. It's like on, on the this same card. this is on the same level as um Don't Cobalt Scalebane and uh, as well as Don't um, fucking Clone craft Rush. it. It's a common. You can craft it. Don't bother. If you're a new so player and don't back. have a lot of cards, craft this common. Fair. If, if you're a new player, craft it. If you're an established player, just open fucking packs until you get Like to... this is on the same level as Cobalt Scalebane and Bone um Bone Mary, yeah. Bone Mary. Like this is That's the level this... design. Hey, we got another Rager. Four out of five, one mech rush. Can I give this a two? Yeah. Can I, no, can I give this a seven? This is the best Rager we've ever had. I thought we had a better Rager. We did no, have a better Rager. It was a rogue one. Five one with self. This one is a five one with rush. This is removal. This is good for magnetic targets. This is... I will bump mine to a six. Would you like to have yours at seven? I'm keeping mine at seven. Okay. This is actually, like, really good. 
Brainstormer is a 3 mana 3 1 minion with battle cry. I gain plus 1 health for each spell in your hand. This card is a great arena card. It's not even that. No. It's Just... like a 2 at best. Yep. Bronze Gatekeeper is a 3 hey, mana 1 5 magnetic taunt mech. Yep. Play it. You play, mech, you play in a mech deck, play it. Yep. This card is going to get, what, a five? A five, yeah. Electro Right is a three mana, three, three a minion. At Battlecry, if you're holding a spell that costs five or more, gain plus one, plus one. This is an arena card. And again, arena? four. Yep. Four seems fine. This is Kaboom Bot. 3 mana for a 2 2 who mech death rattle deal 4 damage to a random enemy minion. This card seems fine. 6? Yeah, I'm cool with coming this to 6. Happily play this in constructed in a mech deck. Happily play this mm -hmm. in arena. Microtech controller is a 3 mana 2 1 and a minion battle card summon 2 1 1 microbots. This is another arena card. This is a perfectly fine arena card. This is like token, that. Token decks. Yeah. This is hey, a... if you're going all in on the storm thing, this is 3 legendaries on turn 10 from an empty board. Yep. Uh, that seems that seems fine. Ten mana, three le three random legendaries. Yep, perfect. I'm giving it a six. I'm giving it a six as well because it's categorically fine. Mm -hmm. Spring rocket. It's a three mana, uh, two one mech battle cry. Deal one damage. Two damage. Two damage. I lied. I can read. This is actually really good. Yeah. This is a fine card. This is a fine Hearthstone card. Is this is is this as good as the elemental phoenix thingy? The four mana three three. Deal two damage. Elemental. Is this possibly better because it's a mech? The Phoenix is good in arena because it's stable removal and has elemental synergy. I th I think this might be better because it's a mech and costs one less. Me I think mech Depends is a better race or better tribe than elemental. Depending on the class. If you are a mage, you want the phoenix more. If you are, like, a hunter or a warrior, you want the rocket more. Paladin, yeah. It entirely depends Shaman, on what Shaman class and, you are. Shaman and mage want the elemental. Yes. Everything else wants the rocket, in yes. general. I'm good with a six on this one. Yeah, that's, this is a super solid six. Mm -hmm. Like, constructed, playable as well. Yep. This is a good budget construction card. Yeah. Hell. Crocs. Might actually Croc. Croc. What? No. Cloak Skin Chemist is a two mana. Cloak one... Scale Chemist. Cloak even. Scale. Cloak Scale. Cloak <laughs> Skin. Cloak. I, I was thinking Croc Skin. Cloak Skin. Okay. Cloak Scale. Cloak Scale Chemist is a two mana one two minion with stealth and divine shield. That's card's mine. It's no Silent Knight, but it's neutral. Wait, no. Silent Knight was neutral. Two, three. Like nothing special. Four. There's nothing special, but it's not unplayable. That's right. Toxicologist. Toxicologist is fine. Yep. Two mana, two two minion battle cry. Give your weapon a plus one attack. <laughs> um. Does Kingsman play actively play this? Yeah. I think it does. I think there are already enough weapon buffs that you don't. I, no, I think this you play this because it drops the cost of one of your weapon buffs instead. And that. more reliably triggers the weapon buff, because I think it's the other one's a death rattle or it's a combo. Hmm. I think this card is fine. I'm I'd have it a to five. look into that. I also don't play Kingsbane, so I don't care. Mm -hmm. Five? Yeah, five. Much it like seems account. perfectly certain. Yeah, your account is five. <laughs> Uh, upgradable frame bot who has a blitzcrank arm. Uh, well, here's your uh, prime target for you know putting magnetic on. Yep, two mana, one five mech. It's a solid five because it's a vanilla thing. They just want to put I, stuff on. I think it actually gets a seven because it is super cheap, super reliably will stay on board. Good magnetic target for the mech decks. Okay. Like, I think it's actually much stronger than it looks. I'll give I'll bump my top to a 5.5. .5. I'm not going any higher than that because I feel like it's just a filler card. I think it's just that. It's just a good filler card. It's a good card to put into a skeleton of a deck. I mean... It's a skeleton card, essentially. Dire Mole sees constructed and pro-level play. 
I know. It's a one mana one three or two mana one three. Yep. And ev and all the pros rated that card about a good six to seven because they're like it's a good solid card that just fills the curve. And it's a beast. This yes. is, does the same thing for mechs, and mechs have better synergy than beast right now. Yeah. Whirl Whirl Glider. Whirl Glider. Yeah. Okay. Two mana Goblin two one. Bob Tribal. Goblin Bomb Tribal. I'm giving Goblin this a Goblin Bomb Tribal. I'm also giving this a four. This is actually the worst Goblin Bomb card. It only gives you one. This this is worse than Goblin Bomb. Because <laughs> Goblin Bomb costs one. And is the mech. If Whirligliner was a mech and made the Goblin Bomb. Yeah. It then make it would be like bomb. a six. It's summon one. But it's not a mech. Oh, fair enough. Oh, here we have Mecharoo. It's a one mana, one, one mech. Death Rattle, summon a 1-1 one, one Joey Bot. Do I have the Joey Bot? I do have the Joey Bot. The I, Joey Bot looks cute. I didn't give my rating for Whirly Glider, which was a 4, by the way. I already figured you were giving a 4. I put the 4 in there for you. Yeah. Okay. Mecharoo, uh... Can, can, can I give it a 6? 6, really? What? Yeah, it's, 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 an, it's another... It's reliable mech. I will give it a 5 because of the Joey Bot art. I'm giving it a 6 because the Joey bot art, otherwise I'm giving it a five because it's a reliable mech. Like it's gonna, it's a mech that creates mech when it dies. And here we got the skater boy. He said, see you later, boy. It's a one, one, four, one. That's a one, one mech. With magnetic and rush. That's, could you have at least given us a one mana two, one with magnetic and rush? No. Is that too much to ask? Yes, I'm giving it a five. Also, I noticed that you missed a card. I also noticed that you missed a mana card. Faithful Lumi. Yeah, what's next? Fun you pack. have this sorted alphabetically. Yeah. Faithful Lumi is starts with an F. F comes before M. I, F comes after G. You've also missed Goblin Bomb. I, we had Goblin Bomb before. Yes, but Goblin Bomb is an actual card. Yeah, in I know. I, did, I was too lazy and I didn't bother putting a second copy in. Okay. Yeah, Faithful Lumi. Uh, Battle Cry, give a friendly mech plus one plus one. He's fine. Solid five. Five? Four and a half, five, somewhere in there. Yeah, I'm giving, I'm giving it a five. You want to make yours four and a half or five? Five. Okay. Goblin bomb tribal. And that's all of them. Goblin bomb tribal. Goblin bomb tribal is a five. Actual goblin bomb card, a five. Okay. I will give goblin bomb a five as well. Goblin bomb tribal. Uh, so that concludes all of this. And this time I didn't have the technical difficulty that we had last time, which was... Uh, <laughs> They would getting cards scroll. in the mi no no that and getting cards in the middle of uh doing no that was the time before yeah last time we had the scroll the time before we were doing it the day of the up the last stream yeah today i'm happy because wizard no it was blizzard actually you know gave us all the cards and everything gave me all the cards except they missed three cards to put on their facebook page not my incidentally, fault incidentally three of the first cards spoiled <laughs> I'm gonna write a very angry tweet to Blizzard. But yeah, this is going to be the end of our thing, so let's give ourselves a little, uh, let's wrap up the set. How do we feel of Boomsday Project? I think it's a sweet set. I'm happy that it's they've brought mechs back, and they look, from the first time they brought in mechs, seems like they learned their lesson. Yeah, not as powerful. Not as powerful, yet still having a powerful side. They look yeah. a lot easier to deal with. And they look like a lot of fun. Um, it is. I am one who dislikes. This set is better than the Witchwood. Yes, I, I liked Witchwood more. Reasons because I am a person who likes it when they give us sets that don't force you into archetypes. I like Fair. figuring out my own decks and everything, much like Whispers of the Old Gods, how we just, like, like you knew what deck you want, but, you, like, the contents of it, you knew you wanted, like, a Yogg's, Yogg's you, yeah, wanted, you, like, wanted you wanted Yeah, you wanted Yogg, you wanted Nozoth, you wanted Cthulhu. Like, the... Cthulhu literally forced you into one archetype. Yeah. I like those types of things. And then when Ungoro happened, you were kind of forcing things, not really, though, and it was more or less, like, um... Like there were the quests, and... Yeah, there was, the one I really didn't like was uh, Gadget's End, where you were forced to play one of the decks. Jade. You were forced to play Jade. Jade. You were forced to play uh, Kazakas. Kaz Kazakas. However, I will say the Kazakas decks were fun as shit. You were forced and, to play them. And the Grime Street ones were just... They didn't exist. Hmm. No. I... There was no... Hand buff it in was bad. Yeah. The hand buff was not good. 
Hunter was like the only good one out of those, and that was just because it just was mid range and didn't give a shit. Yeah. But so this set is kind of like along the same lines of like it very much appears like they are forcing you into an archetype, yet it still appeals to me that they're just like they're saying just like we're well, here's the archetypes you want, but here's some other cards that you can still do other things in. Yeah. Much like the, like the Tempo Mage uh, deck, the Control Paladin. It's also no Nax Ramus. Yeah. Or goblins versus gnomes. Yeah. I like the set of what the direction they've gone for each of the classes. Priest, I'm putting a huge question mark over because I'm just like... Hey, at least need... they didn't give them more combo cards that are for the established combos. Yes. It looks like... Priest looks like it's going to be a fun deck. I... It looks like it's going to be an attrition style deck. It just wants to attrition you out. It's for quest priest. That's kind of how Quest Priest works. Yep. Shaman looks like fun, as Shaman usually does. Yeah. Um, Brogued look like a lot of fun. A lot of things look like fun. Warriors, I'm, if I was to rate all the classes that we saw today, I'd say Warrior and Mage probably take the top two spots. Yep. I'd agree with that. Uh, Shaman looks like the most fun because of their legendary spell that they got. And their legendary uh, minion. Yes. Both those look good. Yep. Um, Overall, I can't wait for Tuesday uh, for when I open up so many packs. I'm opening up like 20 some odd. 30 ish, maybe by the. I missed out on so many, on so much free gold out of the events and stuff, but I don't. <laughs> Fuck yeah, you did! I don't really care. I have so much dust and everything, I can just craft everything I need. I have enough dust for one legend. I think I have like 6k dust. I've crafted a lot of legendaries and epics this past set. Yeah. But yeah, a lot of good stuff looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, yeah. I think that's going to do it for the end of the YouTube side of this thing. Uh, thank you all for sticking around for the entirety of this video. Hope you all in, uh, enjoyed this if you want. Oh, and you can follow me on Twitter at, at SethRTD, yeah, as well as you know on Twitch here. If you are watching twitch.tv slash samsony1, hit the follow, that'd be great. Hey, otherwise, you can find also Briars here at St. Briars on Twitter. And I don't think you stream too much, do you, Briars? I don't stream all that much, but as soon as I get my graphics card back, I'm going to attempt to start streaming again. Nice. Uh, and guaranteed, in uh, if not currently, uh, when new content comes out for Guild Wars 2, I should be streaming again because I should have my graphics card again by the that time and i do have a new proper setup that allows me to have a chat page open nice. with only one monitor and i'm probably gonna look into getting new cables so that i can have my other monitor plugged back in nice. um and then come february i might be putting a lot of time into streaming anthem nice like Alrighty. content creator level amounts of streaming nice all righty so that's going to do it for this. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Be greatly appreciated. And on the YouTube side of these, have yourself a great day. See you in the next video.